Hello, hello everyone, how are we all doing? I think the mic is a bit in a weird place. You happy? There we go. Cool, how are we all doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you're all doing well. My belt is catching on my chair. I don't normally wear jeans, I normally wear PJ bottoms. This is weird. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope you're all doing good today. Oh, let's not. We don't need to hear the theme of Team Rose. I'm good, thanks. Uh, let's just have this on quiet for a minute. Uh, yes, so, welcome, people. Um, I don't want to hang around too much, mainly because this stream is going to be a bit of a weird one. And the longer I leave it, the less payday we'll be playing at the start of the stream. It's it's weird. Um, what I'm going to be doing today, quite simply, is I want to play payday on console, because I didn't play it on Friday, which I was planning, or Wednesday, sorry. Um... But we're doing we're gonna be playing some payday 2. But also in between, I want to scope out the Fortnite live events. I don't know how many people care about it, but whether you like Fortnite or not, you can't fault the live events are always really, really good. I really like them myself and they're very well done. So I would be really annoyed if I missed the event. So we're gonna check it out on stream and see what it's like. And as soon as the event's over, back onto payday 2. So it's payday, Fortnite, payday. That's the plan. Um so don't worry, we're not gonna do like Two hours of Fortnite, because now everyone will throw their dollies at the pram and go, eh, he's playing Fortnite. Because yeah, yeah. that's that's what that's what you'll sound like. Sorry, there you go. Um, but no, seriously, I've watched every single event since Series 3's. Um, like the original Season 3, and I've really liked them. I think the events are really good, and I don't think you can fault them. So we're going to be having a go. You know, we're going to be having a go and just seeing what the event's like. But first, we're going to play at least one Payday Heist. I don't know what we're going to do. But we're going to pick it out and we're going to have a good time. All right? All right, let's go. Do I have Fortnite on Quick Resume? That would make my life much easier if I did. I don't know if I do. Let me just check. No, I don't. Amazing. Damn it. I was really hoping I would. Oh, well, what can you do? Mr. Crime Wave, yeah. You got a dub on Friday? Yeah. Like, but it's weird how both times I streamed Fortnite, just, like, randomly, I got a dub both times. It, it is weird. We won't be playing a proper match, uh, though, unless something's happened to the map that is worth checking out, like when the map got flooded. Like, if something like that happens, I might play one match to scope it out and then switch back to payday, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, we're going to play a, a stealth heist, maybe? Loud heist? I don't know. What do you want to see? What do you want to see? Should I do a stealth bet? Should we do a stealth bet to kick it off? Uh, but Epic Games are tweeted out saying that you need to be on Fortnite by half eight, so half an hour before the event. So at about half eight is the cutoff, so we can't do a super long heist. Um... So anything that, like, you know, like, I have historically have had problems with is probably better avoided. I'm going to put my camera down here for a minute while I pick the job. Uh, train hat. You see, that's why... I, no, we're not doing... No, I didn't... I don't want to go to the fucking safe house. Why have I... Oh, my God. It might be like Season 4's live event where it's continued to Season 5. I'd, I'd be all right with that. I liked the live, like, the live intro thing. Not the live intro, like, the single player intro they did. I kind of hope they do something like that, to be honest. Um, so we've been playing a bit of both, you know, Kevin, the yeah, the people have been saying Kevin the Cube might be coming back. I, I, I don't know if that's true, but I mean, like for a cube, it, it got a lot more love than he probably should have done. Kevin the Cube was kind of iconic. We're actually live streaming after I finish my washing my car suite. Hello, Lord of the Seven Hams. <laughs> I love the name. I love the name. How you doing, Chief? Good to see you. Hello. Let's, let's play, let's play Shadow Raid. Do, do you lot want to do a bet? Are any of the mods here? Elian, Dennis. Are you here? Wake up if you are. If you're not, then we won't do a bet. But, but oh, Ollie's here. Ollie could do. It. I forget. Yeah, Ollie's a mod now. Honestly, Ollie is so forgettable. Disgusting. No, uh, Ollie, do you have any experience with setting up the bets? Because if you do, then you could do. It. I'm on mobile. I don't know if I can do. But all oh, right, that probably won't work. I won't let you do it. Where's this? Where is the stream title from? What do you think it's from? What does it sound like to you? I thought anyone would have been able to recognize it. To be honest. It's a Skyrim quote, bro. It's a Skyrim quote. Also, chat, just as a little uh, a little nudge or a reminder, if anyone does fancy supporting the channel by subscribing, it is actually 20% off this month. So it's a dollar less, roughly, if you want to subscribe. Just thought I'd put that out there. I'll start a prediction. I'll start a real quick one, and we'll do a minute to bet. So you all need to bet quickly. Um, oh, I literally can just copy the Shadow Raid. Boom. Done. Boom. Prediction. One minute, chat. Place your bets. Pass or fail. We'll do a quick little stealth bet. And then we'll roll right into playing it. Do Shadow Raid. Get out. Go for it. Been really into the Avengers game since they announced the Marvel Zombies event happening in October. They have... When did when did they announce that? I have not seen that be mentioned. I'm going to look that up right now. When did they announce that was going to be a thing? Make sure you place your bets, people. Pass or fail. I don't see Marvel Zombies anywhere. I'm checking the roadmap. Let me see. Um. Yeah, there's no mention of uh, of Marvel Zombies. I don't know where you've read that, Taskmaster, but that's bullshit. 
I don't know where you've read that, man. Okay, almost out of time on the bet, people. If you want to place your bets, now's the time to do it. How much is in the pool? Only six people have bet. Wow, I'm really, really disappointed in you guys. Very, very disappointed. I expected more people to bet. Now I'm going to go cry in the corner. Oh, Elian's there. Wow. Well, Elian, that's your own fault for not getting here, bro. I've been live for nine minutes and you haven't been here, you know? You, you, you're too slow. You're too slow. We've got to work quickly this time, Elian, though. We've got to do Shadow Raid quick and then get right into the event. So, 76% of arrows on me passing, 24% me failing, 4 say I'll pass, 2 say I'll fail. Intriguing. Let's see if you all are right. I was having a bath, allow it. Shit, I didn't pre-plan. What a donkey. Uh, I will not allow it. You, you are, mods are not allowed to take baths. That's, that's a law now. That is a law. You're not allowed to. Alright. Body bag. Bag zip line. I never got to vote. You're too slow, Brozzy. I really wanted to prop this steel book up in the, the camera. I, I, for the record, I got the Life is Strange True Colors steel book, which I am like eternally grateful to game in Blackpool for. It is the most gorgeous fucking thing in existence. Like, oh, it's fucking stunning. No disc in because I own the digital edition. I just wanted the steel book for a collector's sake. And there's a, a really cute, well, not cute story, but a funny story to it that I that I will always remember because they were lovely in there. Game is a shop in. Oh, for fuck's sake, we got the fucking cum cops. I forgot they were a thing. I forgot the cum cops were a thing. Amazing. They're back. They're back, chat. If you miss them, don't worry. They're back. <laughs> oh, God. Um, anyway, the sperm force. Actually, that one's a better a better phrase for it. I like that. Um, yeah, so the story goes, basically, I was meeting up with my friend Alika, who you guys might have seen the Discord server, ACOS. Um, I literally hadn't seen it in 20 months, because COVID's a bitch. Um, but... Uh, yeah, we met up in a place in the UK called Blackpool. It was near enough to where she lived. Neither of us even lived there, but it was like, hey, it's close. We'll go there. So we're hanging out in Blackpool. We're vibing, chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool. Shooting some b-ball outside of the school. Is it the school or the pool, that lyric? I always forget that. Um, I think it's the pool, right? Or is it, No, it's the school. Oh, I don't fucking know. Anyway, uh, so we're, we're walking around and we come across Game, which is a, a store in the UK that sells, shocker, video games. And they had, um, no, Blackpool and, not Liverpool, Blackpool, different place. Um, and they were doing an offer for Life of Strange True Colors when the game came out that if you pre-ordered it with game, you got a steelbook, which I really wanted. But you had to pre-order the standard edition. And you all know how much I love Life is Strange. And also, you might have heard me mention previously how much of a better deal that the Ultimate Edition was. You basically get the remasters bundled in for about a tenner, whereas individually they're about 35 quid. So it, it's a, it's a, it's a, a no-brainer if you want the remasters. Oops. Down. Let's just do this. There we go. Redeemed. That was close, but we redeemed it. That bag is right in front there. Let's move that. Uh, so, yeah. So, it made more sense for me to get the the Ultimate Digital Edition. But that is, like I said, it's a digital edition. You can't get that physically. Okay. There we go. Um, so, that meant I had to miss out on the Steelbook. Um, and because of that, I was very, very sad. However, I went into the game in Liverpool a couple of days ago, and they were like, oh, you know, if you if you come in on the day the game comes out, there might be a spare one we can give away. We normally just give them out for free, so, you know, either you can pay a bit or you can get it for free, we'll give it out. But I wasn't in Liverpool on that Friday morning. I was suffering from very heavy lack of sleep because I went to bed at 5 a.m. that night because I was playing True Colours. So I tell them this in, in game. I'm like, you know, I really want this to steal books. So I thought, oh, go into to Blackpool and just see if they have one left over. And they go, we're really sorry. We only had three on pre-order. Um, and they've all been claimed. I was like, ah, shit. Okay, no worries. Um, and then they went, actually, we do have one more on pre-order that's not yet been claimed. There's a guy who works out. There's a store in the UK, another shop called Menkind. There's a guy who works in Menkind in Blackpool who's pre-ordered the game. We don't know if he, if he wants the steel book. So if he doesn't want it, you could have it. And I was like, well, how are we going to do that? So one girl that worked in the store, right? I wish I knew their names because I'd actually say thanks to them by name. But she went... Right, I tell you what I'll do. I will run across to Menkind, which was not close. It was a bit of a walk. She's like, I'll run across to Menkind, find the guy, ask if he wants the steel book, and come back. And if he doesn't want it, you can have it. So I'm stood in game waiting for it to come back, and she comes back completely exhausted, fucking sweaty and out of breath, bless her heart, and goes, he doesn't want the steel book, he can have it. Like, what the fuck is that about? I was so fucking happy about it, but I'm like, oh my god. So if anyone's ever in Menkind in Blackpool, Sean is a very cool dude. I never got to thank him in person. I did go to the stores to try and thank him, but he'd already gone off shift. So that was like mental. I couldn't believe how that worked. 
So yeah, shout out to Game in Blackpool and to the girl who went and checked, and also shout out to Sean. Like, what the fuck? It was so nice. I really wish I knew the staff's names, because both the people in game, the guy and the girl who ran out to get it, were both lovely. But I didn't know any of their names, so I can't really give them any credit, which sucks. But yeah, like, you know how much I love Life is Strange, you lot. Like, that meant a lot to me to get that steelbook, and to get it for free, and for, to have a great story back in it. That's cool. You know, I'm chuffed. And I really want to get up these stairs, but these guards are just really screwing me about right now. Like, I want to be loading up Fortnite within the next 10 minutes or so. I don't want to fanny about too much here. So let's secure this loot and then maybe turn around in a minute once those guards have moved. Worst customer service in Blackpool. I like Blackpool. I don't know. I, thought it was, I, I enjoyed my time there. If we have five, eight bags here, I could just get the cash. But do you even get thermite? No, I never get thermite in this path. All I do is shove the bags under the grate and then grab them from the other side. Saves in the favours and I get spy cams. Just got to make sure the bags slide under and I think I'm having a bit more of a hard job getting them under this time. There we go. But yeah. Also, um, I don't know what to do about streaming True Colors, because obviously, like I said, I'm going to do a full playthrough. But I don't know whether to just do a chapter per stream or try and do a couple of chapters in a couple of streams. Because the way I'm thinking about it is what I could do is do, like, a stream every night for True Colors and then, like, some streams during the day for different other games. Or just try and do, like, a couple of nights of True Colors. Yeah, I was never going to get past that. The guard was in the way. That's a fail. Well done, Troy. You fucking donkey. Well done. I wasn't going to get past him. Do it all in one stream. What? No. Why would I do it all in one stream? Sheesh. Choose outcome. Fail. Complete prediction. Well, there you go. You lost 30k. Dude. Game takes like eight hours. Yeah. I mean, it took me nine and a half. Nine, nine and a half hours to play. Um, obviously, playing it again, I'll know how to get through each puzzle where I was a little bit stuck or whatever. So there is that. Um, but I'm thinking probably do... I'm thinking two or three streams. I think I'll probably schedule three streams. And if I can do it in two, I will. Um, what is this? Is this the game? Them? Is this game them, Troy? Oh, God. Taskmaster, that... Oh. It's fan-made. That's hilarious. Oh, bless Taskmaster. He shared the Avengers roadmap. He thinks that he got the Avengers zombies thing from and it's fan made. He hasn't seen the actual roadmap and hasn't seen how shit it is. It's fucking awful, that roadmap for Avengers. It's it's fucking terrible. It's so bad. Um, let's do a quick Ukrainian, Ukrainian job and I'll do it on overkill so I can pick the safes open. Just so I can get in and out and do a quick job. Because I do want to actually pass something. Like I said, we'll play the event and then go back on to payday after the event's done. But I want to play the event and they've told everyone to get on early this time. And there have been server issues before, so you know. You know it's bad when Troy is negative about something? Yeah. Not many things make me annoyed, you know? Bad game roadmaps for games that I actually have put faith in that most people haven't. Uh, Life is Strange 2. Yeah, the occasional thing. The occasional thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was that was the point as well. The bloking game, the, the other staff member, the one who didn't go out to run across the story, was like, I really like Life is Strange, but I haven't played the, the other one that came before this, the, the more recent one. So I just went to him and just went, right, between you and me, I don't want to be like negative, but don't bother. It's not very good. And he was like, oh, really? And I was like, I just don't think it was as good as the first game. Oh, my God. Chat, the cum cops have got worse. It used to be just the armor. His face is white as well now. Oh, sweet jeez. It's got worse. I didn't think it could get worse. And it's got worse. The whole body is white. Everything is white. It just makes me uncomfortable now. I've got to be honest with you. It just makes me uncomfortable. Oh. Sheesh. Bukaki cops. God, never call them that again, please. I beg. Okay, I can't use that bin. Great. If I fail this now, why is there a Titan safe? Why is there a Titan safe on overkill? Are you taking the piss? Sorry, control. I must have pressed the wrong button. I hope there aren't many more guards, otherwise we're gonna have a big problem. 
Well, that's not good. Down. Watch out. Camera. Stay put. I don't have to remind Stay you. Every clear. hostage is an asset. On the floor, bitch. Alright, please have the tiara. Make this job nice and easy for me. The civvies are oh, are they? I wasn't even looking properly. I don't even I don't even think I'm taking it in at this point. I think it's literally going like just just going in and out my my head. Please have the tiara. Oh beautiful. So they're fine. But the manager isn't. Weird. Very weird. Very, very weird. Alright, and out we get. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, boom. I would try to restart level. Oh, well, you know what? Why would you do it on Ukrainian job, for one thing? And second off, why would you leave? Why would you do it on Ukrainian job? Of all the things. This man just wasted 55,000 points. You got to respect it. You got to respect it. I'll refund it. Yeah, hang on. I'm not, I'm not that much of a dick. Let me refund it to you. Uh, do, do, do. Reject. There we go. Reject, 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 reject. There we go. Cool. Oh, add times. I keep rejecting them, to be honest. Right. Um, I'm tempted to just load up Fortnite immediately now. I don't know. I'm hoping to waste a minute of your time. Thanks very much. Let's load it up now and just talk while we're waiting, because I don't want to. I don't want to risk missing this. I'm very excited for it. I don't quite know how this is going to work, chat. So those of you who are going to fuck off, uh, I, I understand. You know, not everyone likes Fortnite, but thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. There's 30 people here. I hope you guys hang out. Like I said, we'll go back on payday after this, but this means a lot. I, I, I really like these events, and I'm very keen to check it out and see what it's like. So we're going to have a look. You know, we're going to have a look. Um, so we'll see what the event's like. Hopefully it's good. Um, it's called Operation Skyfire, and it literally is taking place the night before Season 8 starts. So whatever it is, it's probably quite big, and it's going to change the map, I'm guessing. Snakeskin jackets, am I right? Oh, yeah, Elian here. Elian here. So Yakuza fans amongst you. You, you all know Elian in the Discord server, one of our mods. He has ordered a snakeskin jacket so he can cosplay as Majima. It's going to be a very interesting one. I'm very excited to see uh, what it's going to be like. Save the day. So I can't even hit A to save the day. Oh, I have alien artifacts, apparently. Have I, there's some I haven't spent. I'll just better do this quick. Yeah, because you could customize your own alien in the game. I basically claimed most of everything that I wanted, I believe. Uh, where can I even put my camera? I'm just going to put it up here for a minute. So you can claim, like, different heads and different, like, you know, jaws. But I didn't really like... I didn't... I don't like the custom heads or jaws. The only head I liked was potentially that one. But the rest are just pretty shit, to be honest. Um, but I got all the skin... Most of the skin colours. I got all the armour, all the glows, and all the emblems, which is what mattered most to me. Do I like the other skin colours? Oh, the skin colours are cool, but I ain't going to get enough artifacts now. So I could just get the other... Eye colours? I have 13 artifacts left. And it says that if you don't spend them, it, it allocates them automatically to the cheapest things. And I don't want these. So, how are we going to work this? 13. 3 plus 5, that's 8. Plus 7, that's 15. That's not going to work. Um, 3 plus 5 plus 7, 15. Again, that wouldn't work. Let's get the eyes. Let's get these two eyes. What would really be good is if I could play one quick match and get another bo box of four artifacts. Oh god, those eyes are creepy. I don't like those. I don't want them anyway. And to be fair, I'd want the chlorine skin and I'm never going to get to that. So, fuck it. Let's get a couple of jaws or something. Or let's get a couple of skin patterns. There we go. Battle lines. And boom. Why is the cam cropped? I moved it up here just for a second while I was spending stuff. Now it can go back where it was. Right, let's just have a very quick look at what's in the item shop as well. Is there anything even interesting in here? Probably not. Um, oh, shit! The guy from fucking Free Guys in it, Ryan Reynolds. For fuck's sake. Why is that actually tempting? Why is that actually tempting? Because Free Guy was a fucking good film. Why is that tempting to me? Why, why is that tempting to me? I don't know. Oh, my God. Trespasser Elite. That's actually quite a cool skin. That's actually quite a cool skin. Uh, anything else here of interest? The Mac... No. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, you haven't. No, they haven't. Hey, come in. I really want to get that. I really want to... I'm buying that. <laughs> no, I'm having that. I'm having that. I'm having that. I make no apologies. I have 2,000 V-Bucks. It's fine. I got enough for the next season pass. I've got it. I have to buy that. I'm not... Macarena. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. That sounds like the one from the Cadbury's advert when I was like 10. You know, the, the one with the eye, the eyebrows? Ellie and you remember that advert. I don't know whether it was in the America, but it was certainly in the UK. No idea. Sounds like a Saints Row track. Um, anything interesting here? Football emotes, don't care. Do not care. Shang-Chi, that doesn't look like Simu Liu. They went for a comics version. I don't know why, because the Marvel comics suit is so much cooler. Whatever. Marvel Studios one, sorry. Gamora, again, they went comics. Don't know why. Now we know what Troy spends money on and why he has never, never has some. Nah, I earn my V-Bucks from the game. It's very rare I buy V-Bucks now. Very, 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 very rare. I can't remember the last time I actually bought some, to be honest with you. Um... That's why having the thing is cool. I like having, um, what's it called? Um, save the world. Cause log in and get free, free V bucks. That, that's Shang Chi poster. Oh my God. Venom is cool. I'm glad I have Venom. Like that is a good skin. The Venom one is very cool. You can get Thanos now. You can, I've got him in my locker. I got him ages ago. Yeah. Here's Thanos. And if you snap it, you see the stones glow. Look at that on the gauntlet. It makes noise, special noise. Only oh, the other Thanos skin. So there's a little detail. Um, how much would you spend this game? Not as much as you think, genuinely. Because like I said, in Save the World, you can earn V-Bucks for free. Well, you have to buy Save the World, but I liked it, so I didn't, I didn't bother me. Um, so not, not as much as you would think, genuinely. We have your lobby open. I don't know, only because I don't want there to be any matchmaking issues for people trying to join and, and leave and shit like that. I don't know. I don't know. What do we think? Have I not got a Venom? I haven't got a Venom preset. Why have I not got a Venom preset? I'm, I'm confused. Where is Venom? There we go. He has the cool... I like the Venom emote. It's just a very... Like, I, like what it, however you feel about Fortnite, some of the stuff they've done with the skins, etc., is genuinely really good. Like, they've done some cool shit with skins in the past. I really do like what they've done with some of them. Right, so who should we go as? Who should we go as? Um, hmm. I like how we got the old Black Widow. Got the old one, like the, the, the B-Tech, the Black Widow at home. And then we have the, the movie Black Widow, which looks so much better. I mean, sheesh. Um, Iron Man will be a cool. I'm not played as Iron Man for a while. I just quite like the the whole transformation thing. The LTM is live. I'll just go straight into it then in that case, chat, if you all don't mind. I'd rather just go straight in. I, maybe I should go as Harley? Actually, right, hang on. How do I claim the code for the Harley Quinn skin? Because I would actually, I would actually use that right now if I'm quick. Let me have a look. I literally bought this comic for the skin. Don't even judge it. Where is it? Where's the code? Uh, what, what, how am I meant to do this? Oh, peel to reveal a code. Boom. All right, give me one second. I'm going to redeem this right now. And then I'm going to wear the Harley Quinn skin. Can this emote shut off? Fucking hell. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. Right, okay, sign in with, fuck, I don't know, do I have an Epic Games username? Oh, I do, okay, cool, sorted. Log me in, bitch, fucking hell. Enter the security code, oh, for fuck's sake. I forgot I had two-factor authentication. I'm going to have to be quick with this, otherwise I'm going to have a problem. But I like to look at the Rebirth Harley Quinn skin. I, I do like some of the skins in this game. Like I said, I, I always looked at Fortnite as a more of a casual thing, you know what I mean? I don't play it, like, religiously. I'm not a massive fan of being, like, some kind of massive tryhard, but I do like playing it casually because it's a good game to play when you don't really know what else to play you know what i mean um boom that's my two-factor code right enter my code i gotta peel this thing off i hope this i haven't done it wrong oh god I think I've just done it wrong. Oh, God. Oh, I've literally just torn a hole in the comic because the peel thing works so badly. Oh, shit. Let me redeem the, the code and then I'll tell you what it said, chat, because I don't want anyone nicking the code. I doubt anyone cares enough. But just for the sake of any bots, because you can get bots that pick this shit up on stream and whatever. Uh, <laughs> redeem. Yes, activate. Boom. I don't know whether it's or I have to like leave and rejoin or what, but uh, right back to home. Cool. So it, I should it should just be in the game now. No. So in the back of the comic, right here, 
Hang on, let me go on just chatting to show you this. It was like, peel to redeem your code. It was right here. There was a little llama sticker. And I went to peel it off. I've torn the actual piece of paper out of it. If you look hard enough, I don't have the ring light so fucking bright. You can't, oh, you literally can't tell. But th there's literally a rip on the paper. There is literally a rip on the paper. That is madness. I have no idea if the comic's any good. I I'll give it a read, but... Right, so if I just go to, like, select game mode, then I could probably slide back in. It'll give me the reward, right? Hopefully I don't have to reload the game. Right. Oh, fuck. I think I do. Bollocks! It's restarted very quickly. I've got a moment. Got a moment. Said you have to be on by half eight, and it's 8.29. We'll be good. No doubt when you're at this, shut up. I would honestly steal the code just for spice. That's what you see, you know, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. Also, can I just say, 27 people still here. Did not expect that. Thank you for hanging out, people. I appreciate that. I kind of thought at the mention of Fortnite, everyone would shit their pants and run. But they haven't. Cool. Dennis! Nice to see you. I swear Dennis is just always casually late at this point, just so she can raid and be like, yo, I'm here. Oh, boom. There we go. Purchased items redeemed. Purchased. Well, I mean, technically for the comic. I have no idea if the comic's good. Maybe the comic's good. I have no idea. Oh, uh, now that is the best Harley Quinn skin. Easily. Fucking easily. Love it. Let me equip it real quick. Is it in... Oh, it's a, diff it's a different op Harley Quinn skin? How does that work? Okay. I think there are style options for her hair, right? Yeah, red and black. That's much better. That is much better. Cool. And she's got my bat. Look at that. She's got my bat. She's got my bat, bitches. Let's go. Right, let's go. So, Operation Skyfire. Does it have to be f with squads? Apparently it does. Whatever. Here we go. Let's get right in. I'm not going to hang around too much. I'm pretty sure it'll just work. Operation commences at 9pm BST. Other Battle Royale playlists, certain game modes, and current match modes are currently disabled. Yes, because the servers always melt with these fucking things. Hopefully it's good. Like, I legit have no idea what it's going to be like. But they have always done good events before. So, I'm interested to see what this one's got. You know what I mean? And we're in. Cool. Your mission is a go. Look sharp. It's something to do with landing on the mothership and doing some big thing. Maybe we're going to blow up a mothership. I don't know. I'm excited. I actually am excited because these things are fun. Like, whatever you, whatever you say about um about Fortnite, the one thing I will always defend is the live events are always a fucking blast. Some have not been as good as others, and I, I get that. But there have been some really, really cool ones. Legit. This is like Saints Row 4, bro. Okay, we are just in the map already, are we? What? What is happening? We're already on the map now. What? Well, all right then. And it says 33 minutes. So it's starting just after 9 o'clock. Oh, hello. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, wow. So what, we're just going to bomb the mothership? All right, we're bombing an alien mothership. Poggers, fine. I like how we just can't get any weapons or anything out, so I'm just vibing as Harley Quinn. Fine. Let's uh, let's let's pull up a seat, and let's let's enjoy. Sickeraxed. Yeah, legit. They're gonna get fucking sickeraxed. Amazing. Right, hang on. I'll get an emote out, and we'll just sit and talk while we're waiting. Then chat. Where is? Just oh, there we go. There it is. Uh, where is it? There we go. Pull up a seat, chat. And boom. Now we wait. <laughs> I hate that I'm actually a Doctor Who fan now. Why? Why do you hate that? Why do you hate that? Nothing wrong with it. Um, so yeah, let's let's talk actually for a minute about what games you want to see me stream this week, chat. Let's get that out of the way first. Um, so I said I was going to do, um, do the Macarena for half an hour. Is that copyrighted? Am I going to get DMCA'd for the Macarena? I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, so we need to think about COD campaigns, because obviously I need to do Black Ops 2 next. Um, I really want to do that. Uh, but that's going to take two streams, so... Mmm. You made me attracted to bald men. Bald men? Oh, Chris Fragleston. Well, he had a bit, he had, a, like, a clean, close-shaven haircut, but yeah, fair. Um, but Chris Fragleston is a chad, I can't fault it. Um... So, there's that. There's True Colors, obviously, which I don't... I don't know how to do. Chat, right. Those of you who are going to watch True Colors, because I have a bad feeling no one's going to watch it, and I really hope that I'm not wrong in thinking that, because um, that'll be a real downer. But, P 
People who want to see me play True Colors full walkthrough, would you rather me do one chapter per stream? Or are you okay with me doing, like, maybe two chapters in a stream? So, a chapter is between normally an hour and a half and two hours. So, I can do... It's public domain. Pargos, I'll, I'll, we'll do the email in a minute. So, we can do... Um, uh, we could do two chapters in a stream. Quite easily. So, has anyone got a preference as to whether we do single chapter things or do double chapter streams? Because if we do double chapter streams, we could do, like, chapters one and two one night, three and four another night, and five the next. That would be a massive cliffhanger because I know how chapter four ends and people are going to be fucking mad. Um, so maybe at that night I might do all three chapters. I don't know. Um, I can't remember which chapters were the longest. That's the problem, you know? But we will be doing crowd choice. If it, if it persuades anyone to hang out in True Colors, you might be umming and ahhing about it. There is a plugin Square Enix let you use on Twitch where the chat can decide what happens. I will probably use the influence version rather than the hard decide so I can see what you're saying first and then agree or disagree with what you're voting with. But I will definitely be using most, if not all, of the chat's decisions on choices. Because it's fun. It gets the community involved. And I, by that point, will hopefully have played the game for a second time so I know all the opposite choices and stuff. So I can kind of go, oh, I wonder which one they're going to go for, the better or the worse. Um, it has a remix that was public. Do not, do not get DMCA'd because I'm an idiot. Oh, right. Well, we could do it a little bit, you know? There's a Black Knight vibing next to us, or Red Knight. I don't know which skin that is. <laughs> Whatever. They are... Oh, they're just chilling. Is that a beanbag? They're in a fucking beanbag. Fair enough. Fair enough. Say Audio Jungle to avoid DMCA. Hell yeah. Anyone who votes Ryan is going to get obliterated. I agree. We, we only want our lesbian power couple in the, in the game. I'm sorry. You lot know, I love me a good lesbian couple. I'm the biggest lesbian stan there is. It's, it's weird. It's not, it's not even weird, but... I mean, you know how we are in this stream chat. Anyone of any gender, sexuality, race, whoever you are, you are welcome here. But in games, I go for the lesbian relationships. I don't know why, but I just find the characters cooler, usually. If there was a better written male character I liked more than Steph, then I'd maybe go for them. But it's Steph, so... That's probably, like, the only choice I can guarantee you you lot won't get a say on. You can give your opinions, but I'm still going to pick Steph, probably. I'm just going to be honest with you. Try using the influence option purely so you have to be with Ryan. Yeah, that's probably the main reason I won't have it on hard lock to decide for me. Steph, mommy, ignore that. Well, you've put it in the chat now, so we can't really ignore it. You know? It's, what are you on about, SpongeBob? I'm not going to read that. What are, you, what are you saying? Did you ever play Tell Me Why? I played the first episode on YouTube and didn't like it. The funniest thing we got out of it was the Guess I Ate My Wheaties meme, which which should have died in its arse way sooner than it did, but it didn't, so... Um, but the voice acting was not very good. I didn't enjoy it at all. Um, the concept of the game was good, and it actually had a good twist at the end of the first episode. I'm sure anyone who was there for the stream will agree. I think Dennis was there and Elian was there. They can both agree that the twist at the end of the first episode was actually like, oh, that's kind of cool. I want to see where that goes, but... We never carried on streaming it. I didn't carry on playing it. Maybe I should revisit it and see how it ends. I mean, it literally is on Game Pass. It wouldn't cost me a fucking thing to do. Maybe I will. I'll see. Um, what is this counting down? It is the live event, uh, Salt. So we're going to be checking it out and then sliding back on Payday afterwards. Unless the event's super long. If the event's super long, I'll just end the stream. But I'm planning to go back to Payday too. So, you know, all being well. Now it went dumb. Wait, what? Oh, there's loads of people doing seats and stuff in the map. <laughs> Fuck it, Al. Um... I got it for zero dollars back in June. Well, there you go. I mean, I get it on Game Pass, so technically I'm paying for it in a roundabout way. But I should put my lava lamp on, chat. I'm going to put my lava lamp on. Like, my mum bought me a lava lamp. Well, she said she bought it me. She got, like, vouchers to get two for one, and she wants a lava lamp, so she bought me one. Um, the problem is I've got trading cards and shit here, so I don't know how easy it is to show this. Oh, you can see it. There it is. There is lava lamp. There you go. Can't be worse than Life is Strange 2. Um, oh, God, the lighting on my face is different now because of the lava lamp, though. Is that weird, chat? Or should I keep it off? Is the, is, the, is the lighting okay? Are we okay with the lighting? That, that's not a big difference, is it? That's okay. Um, you should drink the lava lamp liquid. No, because I don't want to die. Um, I was texting my friend and their mom is going to get surgery tomorrow. Oh, good luck to them then, Lord of the Hams. I hope it all goes well, whatever it is. I hope it goes well for her. I really do. Um, but yeah, Life is Strange too. Like, you all, you all know where I stand on that. Like, Overall, as a game, it's not terrible, right? Because the first episode is brilliant, or at least the opening of it. The, it starts to derail a bit for, based on the game length as it goes on. But the opening 30 minutes, 45 minutes is fantastic. Proper Life is Strange that I love. The ending episode is also fairly good. Um, which, you know, you all saw me. That was the only Life is Strange thing I've ever played. My first reactions live on stream. 
Um, and I actually really, like, the, the biggest thing about the last episode of Life is Strange 2 that I liked, as you all know, is Max and Chloe being mentioned. Which doesn't say a lot for your game, but the best part about the episode of the sequel is them referencing the last game. But whatever. But the ending wasn't too bad. But it was, the thing that ruined Life is Strange 2 for me is this inability to commit to characters or locations. Because with Life is Strange, and with Life is Strange True Colors, and Life is Strange Full of Storm, you got a whole array of great characters. The characters are the best in True Colors. I stand by it. True Colors is the best Life is Strange game. If you're interested in those games at all, please, 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 please watch me stream True Colors. You won't regret it. It's fucking fantastic. It's probably my new favorite game of all time. I'm actually starting to feel more comfortable saying that now. Um, but... The thing that works for me with Life is Strange, what makes a Life is Strange game Life is Strange is a mix of things. First off, an interesting lead character. You can debate which characters you like and dislike, but Alex Chen is the best character in Life is Strange. I fucking love her. Uh, but Sean and Daniel, I didn't like in Life is Strange too. Uh, Daniel in particular, because I don't like kids in Life is Strange games. I don't think they fit. There is one in True Colors, and Elian can back me up here. I think the kid in True Colors is actually quite cool. He's not in the whole game, but he serves a good part, and I like him. I honestly do. Daniel was not an interesting character. He had control of the power, which meant you didn't control it. And the power felt more like a hindrance than something that you had fun with. It was like, oh, the story's getting a bit of a drag. Daniel uses his power again. Here's some problems. We've heard this already. Um, yeah, the child is great in True Colors. I like him. Um, Sean is a character I don't love or hate. He's just kind of there. The voice acting isn't amazing, but as a character, he's okay. You know, he's all right. Um... But, like, when you compare it to Max, who I really like, you know, the awkward photography obsessant who's, like, you know, loves her indie music and her guitar. She's cool. Chloe is the edgy hella teen that we lo like or some of you don't like, but I love her. Um, and then Alex is, you know, this really interesting character with the control of emotions and just kind of a rough upbringing. I just think the way her character was written was fucking fantastic. I really liked it. But Life is Strange 2 didn't have interesting characters. Next thing in a game, having all the characters in one location and building up that location and those characters throughout the season. See, season 1, you got Arcadia Bay, Blackwell Academy, building up the relationship with all of your, your co-students co and other people in the, 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 the town. Same with Pull the Storm. And with True Colors, everyone in Haven Springs. Life is Strange 2 went, okay, so you go into Mexico, you're going to go out of Portland, you're going to go through the woods, you're going to find some racists, you're going to go through uh, a, a bit of a snowy area, live with your grandparents for about two hours, then go live on a weed farm, then go on a trek, then go to a religious camp, then stay in some place in the border to Mexico, then go, go through the border to Mexico. You don't stay in one location, and it's really jarring because you can't bed in with the, the events in the game, and all the characters just get fucking recycled. Like, there is a character in... Um, in episode one of Life is Strange 2 called, 2 called Lila, who's like Sean's best friend, I think. She's fucking awesome. She's a really cool character. And they bit her off after, after about 40 minutes. And you only hear about her once in a phone call later in episode one. Once more pot in an optional phone call in episode two. And then you might see her in your ending for Life is Strange 2's episode five. But even that's not guaranteed. You have to pick a certain option. And also it's, cho it's chance based after that as well, based on the choices you make. So she was gone. In, like, the romantic options, you can hook up with a guy or a girl in episode 3, but you only meet them very... You, in fact, the guy you don't meet till episode 3, I don't think, but the girl you meet briefly in episode 2, you can hook up and then you don't see them after episode 3 slash opening of 4. They're gone. There's no real romantic interest there. There's no weight put on it. It's, it's not very good. So, like, everything about the game generally didn't feel like Life is Strange. And the thing I will always say is the developers Don't Nod said that they they felt that the first game was structured like a TV series, like a Twin Peaks thing. It, it was. It was great. And the second one was structured like a movie. What fucking movie have you ever watched with that amount of different locations and characters thrown in and out continually that you've called a good film? I can't think of a single film that works like that. I just can't. And if there is one that exists like that, it's probably a piece of shit. Just wasn't good. So I was like... And that's why when they announced they're making a new Life is Strange game, I was like, okay, we'll see what it's like. You know, I, the first games are my, my favorite games of all time. Second one is not very good. We'll see. As soon as I knew it was Deck Nine doing it in the reveal event, that made me feel better because it's a different studio and they did Before the Storm and I love Before the Storm. Um, but everything about it redeemed it, you know? An interesting character. The romantic options were good and well built up. The town is gorgeous. The characters are all really interesting. True Colors is the best game in Life is Strange. Easily. So I hope that is enough of a persuasion for you guys to watch the streams this week. Cool. Um, but yeah, so that's a massive side note. We'll be playing that. So beyond that, what else do you like, want to see me stream this week beyond True Colors? What are, what are we thinking? What are we what are we jonesing for? Because I know I want to play the Black Ops 2 campaign. 
Um, we also obviously have Payday 2. We do that every week. I don't know whether... Should we count this as the Payday 2 stream for this week and leave Payday 2 out this coming week for a change? I don't know. Hmm? Uh, probably not. People will probably shit themselves if I say that. Um... Because there's going to be at least two, maybe three True Colors streams, right? So we need to think of two, maybe three games for this week. One should probably be Black Ops 2, right? But but the thing is, I want to stream COD World War 2. I really want to stream COD World War 2. Because the beta, I think, on Xbox is next week? Question mark? Is it next week? Let me look this up real quick. Let me look this up. Let me look this up. COD uh, Vanguard Beta Xbox. When does it come out? Uh, right, the COD Vanguard open beta begins, um, September 18th. You can begin it on September 16th with early access if you pre-order the game. Well, I haven't got the money to pre-order it right now. If Twitch pays me in the next few days, I might pre-order it. But, so hang on, what does that work with days? So it's, it's early access September 16th, that's the Thursday. And it's open beta Saturday. Fuck. Well, you see, I'd play it on Saturday then if that was the case, but we got the Doc 2 watch along. I might cancel the watch along then and do that instead. I don't know. Um, unless anyone has a beta code going for Xbox. If anyone has a beta code going for Xbox, I don't know how those work. Feel free to throw that my way. I'd be very grateful if someone has that. Um, how does it work? Does it say, like, do you get multiple codes if you pre order it? I don't know. God, there's a massive page about how the game works. Uh, those are pre-order, you get early access. It doesn't it doesn't say how many codes you get. I think you get more than one though, right? Don't you? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, what do you lot think? Is it worth me trying to pre-order the game? I don't know why I'm holding a plug in my hand, but whatever. What do we think? Should I pre-order the game and get it and play it on Thursday? Or oh god. Or um Or wait till Saturday. If I wait till Saturday, there won't be a Doc 2 watch along. So remember that. That might influence the whole decision. But I do want to play the beta. So let me know what you think. I don't know. Wait, what? I wouldn't pre-order. That's the thing. The problem is, right, well, I'm going to buy the game anyway because consume. You know, consumer. And I hate myself for it. But I, I, the Call of Duty game is something I go to every year. So it would be weird for me to not buy one. Um, I, I, I Honestly, I would... Personally, I'm probably going to buy the game anyway because zombies, but I, I don't want to rush to pre-order it. I don't have a lot of money on me, on me right now. I'll be honest with you, chat, because life is strange. Hello. Um, there's also a Doctor Who game coming out in sept on September 30th, which at this point I think might get delayed. Because the marketing, if they are, if it is still coming out on 30, 30 September, the marketing has been fucking disgraceful. There's 35 people watching right now, by the way, which is more than some payday streams, which is mad. So thanks for hanging out, people. I appreciate it. We're just chatting about what I'm streaming this coming week before the event starts for anyone who's wondering what's going on right now. We're talking about what, to, what I'm going to stream this coming week. Um, but the doc there's a Doctor Who console game coming out. I've wanted a Doctor Who console game for fucking centuries, right? And it's coming from Maze Theory, who made the Lonely Assassins mobile game earlier this year, which you saw me stream. I thought was brilliant. But they haven't marketed the game almost at all, so I don't know whether it's going to get randomly delayed. You can't even pre-order it on the Xbox Store still, and it's out in just over two weeks. So, I'm going to presume I'm going to be ordering that. So, there's that. There's Battlefield 2042, which I'm not sure about yet. I don't know. Um, my mate Tony said he was thinking about buying it, so if he gets it, I might get it. I don't know. I'll see. Um, but... You know, I don't, I, like, Vanguard doesn't come out until November 5th. I'd rather wait and buy it closer to the time, personally. But that means I would stream the beta on the Saturday, which means the watch along would then be impacted. So what we what we could do, what we could do is do the Doctor Who watch along on the Sunday night in the Discord server, move it one night. I don't know whether that would be too difficult for people, but it's still the weekend, so that might be okay. Um, and that way, what we could do then is I could stream COD World War II this week, Life is Strange True Colors on, over several nights, uh, the, the beta for Vanguard on Saturday, and still have space for one more game, whatever we want to pick. At least one. You know what I mean? I'm thinking that. Probably a good plan. Let me know what you think. Which means we need to think of at least one more game. So what else do we what else should we stream? What else are we thinking, chat? We got any particular requests? Vanguard's about to be poop. Look, I just want to see what it's like, you know? I just want to see what it's like, you know what I mean? When are you streaming Avengers? Uh probably when there's there's another big update, which judging off the roadmap isn't gonna be for a while, I'll be honest. Advanced Warfare's campaign, I will play that eventually. 360 Payday 2. My Xbox 360 is buried somewhere, and I don't know where I'd set it up if I wanted to. Maybe at some point, but not immediately. Um, 
I'm trying to think. Left 4 Dead 2 didn't do as well last time, so I might just table that for a little bit and revisit it in a, a few weeks, months' time, I'll say. Um, plus, I, I'm getting a bit tired of it at this point. Raid World War 2. We've played pretty much all of that now. All the raids, so I'm not interested in playing that again much anytime soon. I've had fun with it, but I don't want to beat it to death with like with like a dead horse. Um, who wants to be a millionaire? I could stream that. Do you know what makes me sad, though, about who wants to be a millionaire? Whenever I do just a millionaire stream, not as many people watch it, but when I played it after, was it Raid? Loads of people stuck around for it. So if people will actually watch it, I would, I'd be more happy to do it, because it wasn't as well received and it was just a solo stream game. But I actually would play Millionaire again, maybe. But I kind of feel like Who Wants to Be a Millionaire serves better as a tag-on game after a stream. Because after we did that on the raid night, I enjoyed it more because I didn't have to do it for two hours. I just failed a few times for one hour and then packed it in. Doom. I've never played a Doom game. So that's a possible shout. I have Eternal on Game Pass, so I could do that. Haven't, haven't really considered it. I, the problem is, I don't want my games and apps right now on Xbox, but I don't know if it'll throw me out of the Fortnite lobby. So I don't want to risk it, because now I feel like I might struggle to get back in if I get bombed out. Payday the Heist could be fun, maybe, but I need to play on keyboard and mouse, which means I'm going to suck ass. Doesn't fill me with the greatest confidence, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know. I don't know. What have I got in like my, my games here that I can check? What have we got? Um, hmm. Avengers I'm not playing. GTA. GTA, I played a bit of the Tuners update now since it came out, and it actually isn't as bad as I thought it was. Um, Sonic Omens. I don't know about fan-made games. It doesn't really interest me that much, I'll be honest. Hitman. Hitman would be cool, especially after the David Bateson interview. But people haven't historically cared about me streaming that as much in the past. But I could give it one more go and see. And if it's not very popular, Switch games could do that. Um, hmm. I'd love to stream more of Siege, but I'm so bad at it these days that, you know. Monopoly. Oh my god. Imagine that you'd, I'd have to have people on Xbox who own Monopoly and would play with me though. You know what I mean? So that's that's a very uh, like a variant one, you know depends Um, Siege ew. Yeah, I don't know Skyrim when the Series X update comes out. What is the Series X update gonna do though? Is it gonna give a 60 FPS? I would presume it is, you know play Uno. You have Uno you fucking dick Play Elder Scrolls 3. Why Morrowind? Damn. Yakuza Kiwami won when? I don't know. I did say I would stream it again soon. Maybe I'll do that. I might do Kiwami, actually. Because I said I was going to stream that again soon. I might do Kiwami. But if many, if, mo if pe most people don't watch it, I won't keep streaming it. Because I would... I, like, a game like that, I'd only be streaming it if people gave a shit. Right? So I'm making that clear now. If I, if I stream Kiwami and, and many people don't hang out, I'll just play it myself. Because like I said... I'm not completely obsessed with viewers on Twitch, but I won't lie and, t and pretend that it doesn't matter to me, because it does. I want as many people in the community to be involved as possible. And if there's a game that most people don't give a shit about, I'd rather trade it out and play something more people will be interested in watching, you know what I mean? I like to balance what I want with what the chat wants, you know, find a middle ground. Um, I don't think I'd be able to make it. If you don't make it when I stream Yakuza Cheese Puffs, I will never speak to you again. <laughs> I alone give enough shit for 10 people, so... Yeah, I'm, I... That's the thing. I think if we get 15 plus viewers, I'd be happy with it. Once it's below, f below 15, it's like as if to say this community doesn't care as much. You know what I mean? Which is why I'm worried about True Colors. But hopefully people will check it out. It's, it's just my head right now, you know? Um, But yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe we'll do Kiwami then. Maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. I have school. Well, take the day off. Easy. Skive. Skive. I don't know how that, I don't see, you know, you know, if, if Yakuza means that much to you, Skyve, bro. The Red Archer live stream does not encourage Skyving from school. Just saying. What's up, Troy? How you doing, Sprim? How you doing? I'm just going to change the title on Twitch to, to, to watching, uh, watching the live event. Operation Skyfire. Just sliding that into the title in case anyone who's browsing Fortnite happens to see me, you know, pull in a few more viewers, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. Those are the days to go to school. There could only be one Yakuza stream ever again. That's, that's a good point. That's a good point. You know, that's a good point. I'm just saying. I probably won't watch you stream True Colors because I want to experience it for myself. That's fair, killer. That's, that's why I'm also glad I've left it a little bit. Um, because I want people to check it out after having a chance to play it themselves. If anyone's going to play it at launch. That was another reason. Like, Elian now, he's played it so we can talk it through with me as we're going along. Um, 
What was that? Last time you seen Kiwami Zero, you had an average of 18 viewers. How on earth have you... How have you seen this? How have you seen this? I don't even know that information. How the fuck have you found that? <laughs> Twitch tracker. Link it. Link it. Link it. That's exactly how I found this stream. Hey, Jonathan Boomer. Welcome, then. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. If you enjoy what you see, feel free to drop a follow. I'd appreciate it. Troy buys Monopoly for whole chat, then rips off. Oh, man, man. If you think I have the money for that, you're crazy. You are crazy. Let's see. So, how? So right. I've, I've clicked on the link. How do I see this? Games? Oh, shit, yeah. Average viewers on Yakuza 0, 18. That's across the whole game, though. That's across the whole game. Um, Where is Kiwami? Where is Kiwami? Because I only streamed that once. That would give a very easy answer. Oh, Kiwami was also 18. That's creepy. I don't like that. Let's actually... Actually, do you know what? Let's have a look at the... Oh, I'm actually interested now at these stats. I want to have a look and work out what my most popular games are. I'm going to put this on screen. There's nothing on my screen that is showing personal details on the Twitch tracker, right? There can't be, surely. I love how there's an advert for True Colors. There's an advert for True Colors on my fucking screen chat. To absolutely nobody's surprise. There we go. Right, we've got an advert for popping a box and everything. Great, amazing. Look, there's a True Colors advert. Play True Colors, chat. Play True Colors. Um, right, let's have a look. So, let's sort it by average viewers. What are the most popular things on this channel? So, special events, that's like E3 and Gamescom and stuff like that. The only reason that's got 46 averages is because that one Payday uh, 3 stream had like 300 viewers, which was mad. Payday 2, to nobody's surprise. Uh, Gartic Phone, interesting, is the, the second most popular game. We're not counting special events. Tied with Left 4 Dead 2. But the last Left 4 Dead 2 stream did shit. So, that surprises me. Raid World War 2. Warzone did well. Fuck, maybe I should stream more Warzone. Jesus. Sheesh. Phasmophobia. I actually kind of want to revisit that, to be fair. I might ask Liz if she wants to replay it again on stream. Emily is away too. Fair. Adva You're telling me that people were watching Advanced Warfare over most other games on my Twitch. Since when was this a fucking thing? Since when was this a thing? What? What? <laughs> That's actually shocked me. World War Z... Uh, wait, Black Ops Cold War, hang on. Where was Cold War? I'm sorry, I have a better average on Advanced Warfare than Black Ops Cold War. What? Sonic Color Street performed awfully. Yeah, Nilksy, please don't remind me of that. I've said this before, chat. Like, I don't appreciate when people comment during a stream on how bad the viewers are. Because people do that sometimes. It's not good for a streamer's mental health. Don't do that. Um, but yeah, no, so you didn't need to tell me. It's going to be at the bottom of the list. We're going to go right through it anyway. But let's not draw too much tension. Jackbox pisses me off, right? I want to play more Jackbox games, but not our own Game Pass. You know, if anyone ever, if anytime anyone ever fancies, like, dropping a tier 3 sub or something and wants to do something instead, please buy a Jackbox game for me. I'd be very grateful. Thank you. I'm too poor. Was it Pipac Pi Pi 5 we played a lot of that was good? I can't remember. But if at some point, if, if anyone sees them on offer, tell me and I might buy one. Because I do want to play some Jackbox on streams. I do love that. So, Cold War, just chatting. Cool. GTA 5, World War 2. That's a follow. Jonathan, thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Uh, World War 2, Jackbox, Minecraft, Doki Doki. Cool. Roblox, fuck's sake. Battlefront 2, I've not streamed in a while. Last seen May 13th, 2021. So, that's... Oh, shit. That's six months ago tomorrow. Mad. Who wants to be a millionaire? Okay. Back for Blood. San Andreas. When did I stream San Andreas on Twitch? Hmm. Black Ops, Black Ops 3, Marvel's Avengers, Millionaire, Lonely Assassins, Modern Warfare 3, Fall Guys, Fortnite average of 19. I mean, this the average is going to go up right now. It ranks about 37 people watching. This is crazy. Thanks for hanging out, y'all. Five, date, five Dates was a fucking blast. I really enjoyed playing that. Siege. Okay. Yakuza 0, Elder Scrolls, 12 Minutes, Kiwami, Hitman 3, Ballad of Gay Tony, Emily's Away 3, Thrillville. Then we're really getting towards... Th these are the games that maybe aren't as, as important now. We've got Fallout 4, Fusa, Sorry the Hedgehog, Emily is Away, Lego Star Wars. That didn't do as well as I thought, actually. Shit. Cyberpunk... Oh, my God. There are way more games below Cyberpunk than I realized. That's not good. Overkill to the Walking Dead, Rogue Company, Prominence Poker, Resident Evil 2, Red Dead 2, Mass Effect, Sonic Colors Ultimate... Wait, what? No! I'm sorry, the worst game I've streamed on Twitch based on stats was Shadow the Hedgehog. 
That actually makes me sad. What the fuck? That actually makes me sad a little bit. Energy Black Hedgehog that pump pumps an N16 got me the least amount of average and max views. That's mad. That is mad. That shocked me. Ha! Huh. Crazy. Let's just, out of interest, which game gets me the most followers per hour? <laughs> Cyberpunk is second in the, in the runnings for that. Sheesh. Let's just check where the count's up to, by the way. Five minutes. We're nearly there now. We're nearly there. Um, I should stream more World, World War II, apparently. Interesting. This is cool to just get an interest and an idea of what the chat's into. You know what I mean? I'll have a look through this, probably. Oh, I literally could... Oh. I could have literally done it like this from the start. Oh, Troy, you clown. Max viewers. So, it was 300, I think, at one point for E3, but, uh, but okay. Um, Cold War. The high viewers here are often probably just because of Mario raiding me, let's be fair, because he's a fucking legend. Uh, so, Cold War, Payday, just chatting, Minecraft, Yakuza 0, Left 4 Dead 2, World War Z. When did... I 65 for World War Z. That's more than I remember. Damn. Fair. Um, Kiwa when did Kiwami? Where's Kiwami in this? Let's have a look for Kiwami. That's right at the bottom here. 0 0.3 followers an hour. Damn. I lost a follower and a half an hour for Sonic the Hedgehog. Here we go. This is it. Let's get ready. Let's get ready. That was actually really interesting to look at, though. I appreciate you sliding up my way. I appreciate that. That was, that was very, very intriguing to me. It's cool to find these things out, you know? All right. Oh, there's music now. There's, there's music. There's music chat. That means it's getting it's getting close, you know? How many followers did Kwame get? Yeah, we were all that. Arsha Sheesh Live. I just say Sheesh a lot at this point. Another game I want to get into when I get my stuff together, Fall Guys. I've streamed a bit of Fall Guys, but I don't know. I, I just I don't play it very much casually, so I haven't played it much on stream either. You know what I mean? Fortnite's already trending on Twitter. Damn. Say what you will about Fortnite, but it isn't a dead game, despite the memes. Like, it, it legitimately isn't a dead game. So... Based on that, what game should we do? Should I try Kiwami? I don't know. That was why I looked at that list. I just realized that now I've just closed it again without even properly thinking about it. What, I don't know. Looking at that, I'm thinking maybe Warzone I would like to, but if we're going to stream World War II and the Vanguard beta, let's not have three COD streams in a week. Let's not push it, you know? Um, I don't know. Hmm. I might give Kiwami a whirl. And if people don't hang out, I'll switch games. You know, see if some if we can find some more people are interested in. Let's 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 say Kiwami. Let's say Kiwami, and if I change my mind, we'll go. You already beat a quarter Kiwami in one stream, the game isn't that long. That's fair. I'm gonna be honest, I'd rather you play right, cheese. How many times have you sent the Discord to watch to be to stream Kiwami and now you're saying you'd rather me play it than stream it? Man wants his cake and eating it. Honestly, crazy. This lava lamp takes ages to rev up. It's been on for like 20 minutes. It's not even started going yet. What is it playing at? Weird. I'll play CS until he starts pay, though. Fair enough. I won't be able to make it anymore. Skive, dude. Don't skive. But skive. But more importantly, don't skive. But more importantly, skive. Ugh. Let's go. Have Doom as a backup. Well, that's a game I'd have to, like, actually make space for on my Xbox. Because it's, like, 80 gigs on Series X. So, I'd rather prep for that. You know what I mean? Which day are you streaming Kiwami? I don't know. It depends on when I stream True Colors. Um, I think I think what I might do is I might do um, True Colors this, like, early this week. Do it, like, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and get it done first. So, I know how much of the rest of the week I've got. Um, so, I might do Kiwami... Uh, I don't know. So it's either Kiwami Thursday or Friday, and then World War II takes the other day, and then Vanguard on Saturday. So I don't know. I don't know. I might do World War II on Friday, like the day before Vanguard, so we can prep that way. So probably, I'd say probably Thursday for Kiwami, at a guess. I think these events are neat. I'm excited. I am as well, Jonathan. My community is more of a Payday 2 based one, and they don't have the most historic love of Fortnite. But, so that's why I don't stream it very often. Like, I like playing it casually anyway, so I don't mind too much. But, like, I will defend the live events. I think they're fantastic. I really do. What is Kiwami? It's a, it's a remaster of the very first Yakuza game. I played the, the Yakuza Zero on the channel, and people really liked it. But I haven't replayed re any of the games since. 
And I did start Kiwami about four months ago and then didn't carry on. So, I've been saying I'd go back to it for ages. And I'm thinking of doing it now. I've been playing Fortnite since Season 2, Chapter 1. I've been playing it since Chapter 1, Season 3. Um, I think I might have played a smidge of, cha of Season 2, but I, I bought the Battle Pass in Season 3 and it was on from there. One minute to go, people. So you know what we need to do now? You know what we need to do? We need to use the new emos. Where is it? What was, where is it? Wait, hang on. What did it start with? Was it the? I'm confused. Was it the? Oh, there it is. No, you can't hear it. No, you can't hear the Macarena. Oh, now I'm actually upset. You can't hear Macarena. I'm actually really upset now. What the fuck? Pay does it go on for short? A. Hey. Spent 30 minutes trying to get in his lobby and I failed. Oh no, dude, really? You should have just got into any old lobby, man. Why would you try and get in mine? Everyone just sing Macarena along in your heads. Come on. One Mac. Oh! It's coming through now! Hey, Macarena! Here we go! Alright. Let's see what this event's going to be like. I've missed. I've literally just lost my fucking seat, bro. I was on the rock, and now I'm not. Shit. Get on the rock. There we go. Oh. All right. So we'll be going straight up. Just getting sucked right up. What's happening? Are we just going to teleport? What's going on here? Oh, shit. We're just going straight up? Is that how this is working? No, I'm, I'm flying through the air. How is this going to work? It's probing time. All right, crypto. Fucking hell. Cue the Destroy All Humans theme. Doo -doo, doo -doo. Oh, speaking of which, actually, is that... What day is that happening? The the digital showcase for THQ. Has it happened? Wasn't it the, the, meant to be the, the 12th of September? Am I being crazy? Oh, September 17th. That's when they might be revealing the, the Destroy All Humans 2 remake, possibly. So on Friday, if that happens, we'll pause the stream and have a look at the trailer. But I won't be reacting to the whole conference because there's nothing else I care about. Unless they do a SpongeBob game, maybe. Wait, we have a, a minute on the... Are we going to go to like the activity thing? Because I've seen this before where you like, have to pick up orbs and shit. What's going on? They didn't arm you, and troops are everywhere. They might be on to us. Oh, aliens. I found the abduction chamber housing the bombs. Once this patrol passes, I'll get you out of here. This is actually kind of cool, I'll be honest. Let's see how this goes, though. Thursday's my birthday. Well, we got to stream Kwame on your birthday, then. Okay, where are we going? Alright, we're going this way, apparently. Gotcha. This is actually quite cool, like, the architecture on the ship. I like it. Okay, so that was not the right idea, I guess. Maybe we're meant to go this way? I don't know. Yeah, I think we are meant to go this way. Oh, people have come from that side as well. Right, so we're all, we're all meant to go around this way. Okay. Who is this B-Tech Amanda Waller guarding us? Yeah, legit. What? Oh, here we go. We're here. Okay. She's hacking it. She's hacking the door. Come on, let us in, love. Let's see what's going on. Alright, let's move. Oh, the ships. God, the fucking lag of everyone running into me. Stop. Why does this give me Saints Row 4 vibes? You know, when you, like, get out of the dream and then you're going along. I don't get this. Aliens are attacking. We're basically going to blow up the, the mothership. Oh, they spotted him, not me. I'm all right. I'm all right. Harley Quinn is innocent. Don't get me. I'm fine. I'm innocent. I promise. Okay. Oh wait, what? Do we have? Can we not have a gun, please? We are playing Fortnite. It is Minecraft with guns. Give me a gun. What are we meant to do here? Can I just do the Macarena? Yes, I can. Just gonna do the Macarena. And Mandalorian is T posing. Amazing. We're just gonna do the Macarena. Oh, this? Must be this, right? 
Hello there, Clayton. How you doing? All right, let's see where this goes. Open the door. Cue the Hoxton breakout music. It's payday, fellas! I said it's fucking payday, motherfucker! Oh, we're going down a transport tube, whatever that means. Do -ni 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 -ni. Cue the Doctor Who theme, what the fuck? Do -de -de. Oh, I'm not meant to hit that, apparently. Alright. Oh, come on. I was leading the pack there, now I'm second. That's not cool. Oh. Advance. Portal 2 flashbacks. Another one? Blimey. Yes, do that. I don't want to get sucked into the tube. I want to go along it. For a second that bin was a TARDIS. <laughs> oh, wait. Which one are we going into? Or can we, can we pick whichever one we want? Oh, blimey. That really is blowing us away. Damn. Okay, reverse the airflow. Come on. Reverse it. Come on, Sloane. What are you playing at? I am kind of sad I'm not going to get the Dr. Sloane skin. I could buy the 25 battle, like, V-Bucks thing. 25 battle pass things. I have enough V-Bucks for it still, I think. But, or do I? Maybe I don't now. But I'll live. We good? All right, here we go. Who's Dr. Sloan? That's the one who's talking us through it right now. She's one of the skins in the battle pass, but I wasn't a high enough level to get her. I was a bit too casual with this season. I didn't play much of it until right at the end when I played for a few days. Oh, this seems like big boss area or something. What is going on? Oh, so they have literally just sucked up those islands. Interesting. Oh, are those all the bombs underneath it? Those fucking big ball things. Oh, that is going to pack quite a punch. I don't think this glass window is enough to take that. I'll be honest. How are we doing this? I like how I'm just doing the Macarena still. I'll get things ready on my end. You keep those backpacks near the box. Oh wait, are we all are they all like detonators on our backpacks or something? Oh, wait, what? Okay, they flashed. I'm gonna start the arming sequence. Oh. This looks like the, the, the blue shadow virus thing from Star Wars the Clone Wars. The blue shadow virus! Uh-oh. That's not good, is it? Uh-oh. 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 What's happening here, then? What's happening here, then? Oh, no! Oh, it fucking is! They're bringing back Kevin! Oh, you're taking the piss! They're bringing back Kevin! It's Kevin! Oh! Oh, that's actually cool. What the fuck? They brought Kevin back! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. They brought Kevin the cute back, bitches. What the fuck? <laughs> oh no. Why am I excited over a fucking cube? I should have worn the Dark Bomber skin. Fuck. That's like my favorite skin in this game for ages. Why didn't I wear that? Oh no. So you're telling me the, the cube was the aliens all along? They've been playing a long fucking game with Fortnite's story then. Holy shit. Oh my god. Or are we going to blow up Kevin? What's the plan here? For what? Oh. <gasps> we deactivated Kevin. Kevin holds no power now. Kevin is now black and white. It's Wonder Vision. Wonder Kevin. Whatever. Oh, here we go. They're all going off. Here we go. Oh, that's Dr. Sloan right here. That's what Dr. Sloan looks like. That's her. Here we go. Kaboom. Yes, Rico. Kaboom. You played your part. Now I have to play mine. What? We are fighting a war in which we are hopelessly outgunned. I won't bring you home. Not if there is a chance that thing... Can make it back to the island. She's gonna let us die up here. And out. <laughs> wow, she really is Amanda Waller. She's just letting us die up here. Damn. D 
damn. Oh, no. Oh, you're not coming back online, are you, Kevin? Don't do that. Oh, no. Wait, what? Reboot. Why are we turning the cube back on? Why is that a thing we're doing? That doesn't seem like a good idea. That doesn't seem like a good idea. I don't think this is wise. I'm not, I'm not sure I like this plan. Is it blue? Wait, we can have a blue Kevin? It's literally the Tesseract. What's going on? Blue Kevin. The Tesseract is awake. It actually looks like the Tesseract as well with the glowing and shit in it. So what's it going to do? Protect us? How's this going to work? Oh. What the fuck is going on here? I can't believe they brought Kevin back. Chads. What is happening here? Why are we... We're just going up into the gods. Alright, bye-bye, bombs. Is Kevin just going to rescue us? How's this going to work? Oh, God. Where are we now? The night sky? Or... No, we're in some... Okay, a room with no lights. Oh, God. What is this? What is this place? Just lots of darkness. Oh, what on earth? I've seen Cube 2 Hypercube. I know where this is going. Damn. Do you want to look at this, I guess, maybe? There's more than one! Oh my god. It's a Kevin face off. It's a Kevin face off. That's a lot of Kevins. Uh Um oh and there go the bombs. This doesn't seem like it's going to end well for us, I'll be honest with you. Oh shit. Oh, cutscene. Is it blowing up? Is the mother Oh my god, there's a Kevin going to the island. There's more than one Kevin going to the island. Oh shit, the island's getting fucking destroyed. Oh my god. Oh, that's actually cinematic as fuck. I'm going to screenshot of that. There goes the mother ship. Yo, this is actually kind of cool. What the fuck? I actually like this. Is that going to hit us? That looks like it's going to hit. I think we got hit. That's that's not good. That's not good. I, I don't think that's a good thing. Oh, for fuck's sake. Are you going to lock us out of the game now until the next season? Is that how that's going to work? Motherfuckers! <laughs> oh, you're taking the piss. <laughs> so you physically now cannot play the game until season 8 starts in 12 hours. Well, there you go. Madness. Fucking madness. I'm actually tempted to play the season when it launches on stream, but I don't think I'll be awake at that point. Wait, when is 12 hours from now? 12 hours 42, that's... Oh, that's 10 a.m. 10 tomorrow? I suppose we can have a look, maybe. Let's see if I'm awake and maybe I'll stream it. Would you guys like be interested in me streaming the, the next season tomorrow? Would anyone care? We'll go back to Payday in a minute now, but would anyone care about uh about sliding over to check this out tomorrow? Maybe I could in the morning. Like, as a bonus stream, that is. Not instead of anything else. Yeah, 10 a.m. We can have a little look. I'll see how I feel in the morning and how early I get up. I might do it. I might do it. We'll see. Just check out what it's like. Because this this is interesting to me purely because we don't know what damage has happened. And I'm interested because I, I find the seasons more interesting when more of the map changes. When you just recycle a few locations, it's a bit boring to me. But that looks to me like a lot of shit's going to have changed. So maybe. Maybe. Maybe I'll scope it out. We'll see. 
But uh, let's let's just for the sake of the argument, just see what happens if I try and load Fortnite up. We probably can't even like get into save the world. I would imagine it's just gonna load it up and be like, yep, starts in twelve hours. Go on. Prove me right. Be five p.m. for me, so you could hang out if you want to. Maybe I don't know. Be cool. If anyone wants to hang out, feel free. Make sure to drop a follow on the stream if you haven't already. And you want to check it out? That'd be cool. I would appreciate the follows. I think apparently we've lost a follower so far this stream. It's uh, it's quite sad actually. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. It's not even going to let you play Save the World, I guarantee you. Ready? Come on. Or maybe. No? Who unfollowed? I don't know, but it makes me sad. I don't like when people unfollow. It makes me very sad. No. Oh, wow. I, you literally just can't even get in. Never mind. You gave me, and I'm very grateful for that, Jonathan. I, I, so, it's not, so it won't even, it won't even take me to the countdown now. It physically just won't let me in. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Crazy. Madness. Well, there you go. That's that, then. That's that, then. That's, uh... Oh, why has the background changed a picture of Alex with no, with her eyes closed? I probably should change that picture to what I had before. What did I have before? I'm just going to change my background real quick, chat. Give me a minute. Um, <laughs> recent captures. Why isn't it loading my recent captures? I just want to change the background, Xbox. Then I can play Payday. Let me, let me, let me change the background, please. Come on. Come on. Come on, Xbox. Come on. It's, it's not happy. Might get. What do you mean? I have screenshots of Life is Strange True Colors that I was going to change my fucking background to, but apparently you're not letting me. Why is it not letting me? Why is. What is the problem? Madness. Madness. No doubt when you at this. Um, well, there you go. So that's that's Fortnite Chapter 2, Season 7. Got. Like chicken. Oh yeah, I sub. Don't forget to change the sub goal. I did change it to count you when you said it a couple of days ago. But thank you very much for resubbing uh, for five months with Prime Gaming, David. It tastes like chicken. Or she tastes like chicken. Whatever. Um, so yeah, Payday 2, anyone? Payday 2? Anyone for some Payday 2? Fuck, I've got so many games installed. Let me just check Doom Eternal because I have it installed. Yeah, there we go. It's installed, but it's not on the right hard drive. And I don't know how much storage I have on the internal. How much do I... Oh yeah, nowhere near enough. Nowhere near enough. That's that's not good. That's not good. That is not good. I only I've only reinstalled the campaign for Cold War because I'm planning on streaming that campaign soon, you know? Otherwise I could uninstall that and free up another 50 gigs. Um anyway, so let's roll a bit of payday. I honestly don't even know whether I feel like pay playing payday 2 now at this point, but we're gonna hang out and we're gonna play it for a little bit. We're gonna hang out and play it for a little bit. But yeah, so thanks to the sub David. Remember, chat, if anyone fancies subscribing to support the stream, it is currently 20% off this month. Would be cool to have you on board if you can support me. Only if. Only if. Not expecting anything, okay? Um, but yeah, so that was a cool event. I liked it, you know? There wasn't a lot to it, but it's cool, and I'm interested to see what happens with the next map, you know? I want to see... I'm interested to know what's going to happen next. That's what I... Uh, that's what I'm most interested of for, you know? Uh, you could also uninstall Avengers for three months. I'm considering it. I'm considering it because that roadmap. Let me let me just demonstrate to you how bad the Avengers roadmap is, chat. Avengers game roadmap. Just while we're loading up Payday 2 because it seems to be taking a fucking century. Um, where was right? So here's here's the la I'm gonna get the last roadmap on screen screen screen, and then show you the new roadmap. And you can tell me that I'm like try and tell me that I'm wrong in telling you the new roadmap is fucking dog shit. All right, here we go. Here we go. On there. Do you have all the Yakuza games installed? Yes, I do. So, this was the, the most recent map, roadmap for Avengers. So this is for, like, you know, um, thingy. For this year coming up until now, right? I've just put the roadmap into part of the, the webcam. I did not mean to do that. There we go. So, you had an up, a big update in March. An, an event thing in April that wasn't massive, but it was something. The Red Room takeover in May. A new villain sector boss in June. The multiplayer mega hives and a big new boss in July. And Wakanda in October. There was some cool stuff, right? 
there was some cool stuff. Here's the roadmap for the rest of 2021. Try and tell me this is an absolute fucking dog shit. I'm trying to get it in here. Discard. It's not letting me show it. Hang on. I don't know what a .jfif file even is. What is a .jfif file? I don't know what that means. What is a .jfif? Like J-F-I-F. -F. I've got to save it as a fucking JPEG instead because it's not loading in OBS. Really ruins the argument. I have to interrupt the fucking argument to go into paint.net and rename a file site. Like re resize a file. There. Right. Now chill. All right. And then put this in here. Boom. Fucking hell. There's the roadmap for the rest of the year. So some one year shit that is not interesting in September and a Black Panther skin, which is cool, but not got. Then for the rest of the the rest of the three months of this year, we've got recycled events and bonus XP. The first raid for the game, fighting a boss we've already fought, really don't care. Uh, new enemy type, don't care. Power level cap increase, not something to care about on its own. Resources and gear upgrading, getting a rework. Earnable cosmetics. Spider-Man on PlayStation, fine, whatever. And then for Hawkeye, you know how they do, they do, they should do big crossovers for when they do new Marvel things? Yeah, they're doing a nameplate challenge. Basically just getting a calling card. That's it. Like, I have I have looked at walls more interesting than that fucking roadmap. So, I I'm, honestly might just stop playing Avengers for a good few months. I'll be real with you. It's just, it's just shit. It's just shit. It's just bad. Ugh. Considering I've been one of the only people that actually has defended that game and said how good it was, like, in its updates, then it comes out with shit like that. Can I just point out the irony that we've got less viewers now on Payday than we did on Fortnite? It's a weird stream chat. But there you go. Um, ugh, um, Robot was better than Fortnite. I disagree. Fortnite is more interesting than that roadmap. That's not an opinion. That's a fact. Real Ant, dude. Thanks to the host. Appreciate it. So, what are we doing, chat? Bit of stealth. I don't think I'll do a super long stream tonight because I'm quite tired. But I want to stream today because, like I said, I've got quite a few days off. So what? What? What shall I? What shall I play? What heist? I fancy doing some stealth, but I don't know what's stealth. Train heist stealth. I'll give it a whirl. If I fail a couple of times, I'll give up. I'm not like I've already done it before. I'm not in the mood for recycling it too many times. And to think after the Wakanda update, I was going to buy Avengers. Yeah, I mean, you'll probably get your money's worth out of what's in the game. But I wouldn't exactly have faith in the rest of the year's content, I'll be honest, you know? So, it's a bit meh. It's a bit meh. Bank heist? Really? Bank heist? It's a bit, bit simple, isn't it, bro? bit simple. You want something that I'm going to fuck up on, you know? Something I'm going to suck ass at. This. This is that thing. Bank heist 101. Well, fun story, chat. Have you noticed what this is to my shoulder? That t-shirt there that my shoulder is over. Do you see that in the distance? I wonder what that is. Maybe I'm just constantly teasing my merch designs because the merch store is going to be opening very soon. I got a delivery yesterday, chat, of a bunch of new merch things. Almost all the merch things, samples I pre-ordered for the photo shoot have all arrived. I'm just waiting on two more t-shirts and a poster. Once they're all here, I get a fuck ton of photos. Store goes live. Well, actually, Zaley was modeling a couple of things for me as well because she's a fucking sexy bitch. I love her to bits. Um, she was like, I want to model one of your t-shirts. And she's also going to model the socks as well. So I'm waiting on her to get her stuff as well. But it should be around the same time I get the rest of mine. Um, TG shirt look great so far. The quality is fantastic. The Japanese design t-shirt with the kanji on the front and the dragon on the back is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Can I get a close up of that shirt? You might get a good look at it in the Life is Strange video uploaded on YouTube. Which is a good way of me saying that because no one's watching that video. Uh, but I wear, I'm wearing the Bank Ice 102 t-shirt in that as a bit of a tease. So go watch Life is Strange video later to, to see if you can get a better look at it. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm really excited for the store to launch. So it, sh it should, at a guess, the merch store should be live within two weeks. That's my guess. It should be sooner, but I'm going to say within two weeks. Oh no. There's literally three guards. There's four guards. This I'm already. I'm not going to play this very much. I'm not going to play this very much. I can see this is going to piss me off. That was, that is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Did you see those four guards? Four. What is the general price? Um, it, it, it depends on the design. Because the problem is, right, chat. 
Teespring wanted me to charge more. I, I will say this. I am charging less than Teespring suggested, right? I will say that. Because a lot of YouTubers merch these days is like 30, 35 quid for a t-shirt. I'm not a robbing bastard. Obviously, part of the story is for me to make a profit. Otherwise, what is the point beyond making cool merch? But I have tried to go with as, as affordable prices as I can. I hope they're good enough for everyone. I can't remember them off the top of my head. But please bear in mind when you look at them that I have tried to make them as affordable as possible, okay? I promise you all I have tried my utmost. Because I'm not one for buying expensive merch either, you know? The only usual merch I've ever purchased was one of Fitz's offensive t-shirts. Because I loved the design. And it only cost me about 20 quid, I think. Or 25. can't remember. But I loved it. So we had an interaction circle on. This is on console, bro. What do you mean? Oh, I just realized I need to change the title. And the game. It still says I'm playing Fortnite, doesn't it? Ha! Whoops. Uh, payday 2. What a clown. I can't believe I didn't change it back. I'm going to change it to Payday 2 Xbox. There we go. What a moron. Can't believe I didn't change that until now. How do you interact with stuff faster? It's an AI boost. Like, the AI give me faster interaction speeds. The Red Archer Live merch heist. Well, chat, what I'm planning on doing, and this is a big thing, right? When, whenever day the merch store launches, my plan is to do a big merch store launch day stream. Where I'm going to hit publish on all the merch store stuff on the store. Or maybe I'll do it a bit before the store, the, the stream to make sure it all works. But only once I start streaming will I reveal the link and show off the designs. And anyone who buys merch during the stream, you'll get notifications on stream. I'm going to make special alerts for the merch. I haven't decided on the notifications that play yet, so if anyone's got an idea for like a Doctor Who quote or any other kind of notification you'd like to hear play when merch is purchased, let me know. Um, but that way, anyone who buys the merch, you'll get notifications popping up on stream. That's the plan, in theory. It's said that that is a thing that works on, on, on the site. If it doesn't work, then I'll be sad, but that is supposed to work. The, the turret's in there. Fucking dope. Oh, no. Did you see those polygons? Oh, no. So last time we had white guards, now we've got squares for every effect. I swear, Payday 2 on console is such a fucking mess. Honest to God. Do you, you always say that movement is such a move on PCs. Why do you play on console if you're going to do solo stealth anyways? Because it's nice to play on console. You know, the console viewers get something interesting. And also, to be fair, it is less CPU intensive on my computer. Playing on Elgato doesn't melt my PC at all. So any chance to play a console game, I take it. Genius billionaire playboy philanthropist alert when. He doesn't say the line very clearly, so probably wouldn't make for a great alert, I'll be honest. That's not ideal. Here's a tip when you eventually play Kiwami 2. Don't. Why? I want to play every Yakuza game at some point. Why, why, what is the problem with Kiwami 2? Elian, you can also back this up because you are also a Yakuza nerd now. Not as much as cheese is, granted, but you are a Yakuza nerd. You've played all of them, like, in a ridiculous amount of speed. Or ridiculous amount of time, I should say. Cheese doesn't like the 2 remake. Oh, yeah, because he prefers it on the PS2, doesn't he? For some reason. I don't get why you'd prefer the original. What, is, did, was the content different in the remake or something? Did they cut stuff out? What is what is the issue? Cheese, what is the issue, bro? Man struggles with RE4 controls. He would hate Yakuza 2's controls. Yeah, RE4's controls fucking annoy me. And it's really sad because I was going to... My, my lava lamp, I think my lava lamp's a bit dodgy. It's not doing anything. It's been on for like an hour now, and it's it's literally not even flowing. My mum said she thought hers was a bit dodgy. I think she might be right. I don't think these are very good lava lamps. But yeah, um, I'm hoping they'll announce the Resident Evil 4 remake, because I want to play the game. I've heard it's one of the best in the franchise, and the controls are just too janky for me. I, I don't enjoy them. What's your favourite Doctor Who intro theme? Don't do that to me, man. I like them all for different reasons. Probably, probably the series four theme, the tenant one with like the like the more vamped up orchestra. That one's brilliant, but I like them all, you know. Jody's theme in particular is also quite good. I do like Jody's theme a lot. They got small town, which only showed up for one plot point, but I did the cabaret mini game, so worth it. They added the cabaret mini game. Hello, sailor. Kwame 2 has more Majima than 2, and that's a good... Well, there you go. The remake's better. Cheese, your, your opinion is wrong. Ding dong, your opinion is wrong. Right, where's the loot? Amazing. It's there. Great. Great. 
great. Great. Great. That's great. Majima in Kiwami 2 is chef's kiss. Sounds fair. Oliver, when are you going to do a, a Majima cosplay, you know? Just a random question. I am I am now literally fully working on an Alex Chen cosplay from Life is Strange True Colors. I don't know what to do about her boots because she wears like proper high boots and tucks her jeans into them. And I feel like I probably wouldn't work with that. But what I need to do is get a sweatshirt with the free bird thing on. And I don't know how I'm going to do that. But I have ordered a, a denim jacket. I've ordered her patches that she has on the jacket. I'm going to get me, either I'm going to stitch them or my mum's going to do them. She's offered to stitch them on. And to be honest, I might accept her offer because she'd probably do a damn sight better than I would. Me stitching, I'd probably fuck it up. I'd probably break it or something. There's only one game I would kill for you to play, and that's Ace Attorney. Right. Explain to me how Ace Attorney works. Because I've seen stuff about it, and I feel like I probably enjoy it. But I've never played it. I don't know how to get it. I don't know how it works. I would be willing to give it a try. Because all the memes that come out of it, you know? I'd actually be willing to give it a go. Do my Egypt cosplay when I can find a good suit that won't cost me a fortune. I want to do his zero appearance. Oh, you want to do, like, his actual, like, black suit appearance? Interesting. Interesting. Visual novel in court. Yeah, it'd be fun to do, but, like, is it on Steam? How does it work? Doom Eternal stream would be epic. Someone mentioned Doom earlier, David, and I said that was an option, possibly, for a stream. Ace Attorney, I've heard good things about. Like, I would be very happy to play Ace Attorney. It's just, how do I get it? Where and how much? Some Ace Attorney... Wait, there's more than one game? Okay, hang on. Someone recommend... What, what game should I get? If there's more than one Ace Attorney game, which one should I be looking for? I don't know which one is the, the more interesting one. I, I don't know. I haven't played them. The first trilogy is, and the spin-off are, but the second trilogy is not. So there's at least seven games in the series. Fucking hell. Refuse to expose my chest. The suit will be multi-purpose for my payday cosplay. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. I get you. I get you. I think I'm exposing my chest and the skate skin jacket comes out. You have another thing coming. Oh, Elian, you got to do it. You got to do it. You gotta, no, it's fine. Do what you need. You know, you do what you want, man. What game would you kill for it to drop dead or just never exist? I don't know. Have I ever played games that I hate that much? I know we bash on Life is Strange too, but I don't hate it that much. I don't know. What, what, what would you say? What would you lot say? That's actually an interesting question, chat. If there was one game you could delete from existence and no one would ever have to talk about it, mention it, or play it ever again, what game would it be and why? Also, try and give reasons if you could. Fallout 76. It's not a... Uh, yeah, I, I just haven't managed to get into it myself, I'll be honest with you. I would want Fallout 4 to be deleted. Really? That was my first game. Damn. Fallout 76, save myself. Oh, you paid 60 quid for that? Oh, God. Oh, I, I yeah, no, I get you. Get rid of GTA Online, it's so frustrating. Well, technically, it's not its own game, unlike Reddit Online, so you probably get rid of GTA 5 then, too. <gasps> oh, no. Never encountered a game that I hate enough to permanently delete. That's what I'm trying to think right now. Is there a game I've hated that much? I don't think there is. Like, even Cyberpunk is probably, like, decent now. It's probably had its patches and shit. But I'm still not buying it until I see it for, like, a tenner. If I see it for a tenner somewhere, I might cop it. Delete Fish and Chips Land. Excuse me. Is that is that is that a threat, bro? Is that a fucking threat? Is that a motherfucking threat? Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Steam, yes. Because I don't know which one I should I should play. Phoenix Wright, is that is that the name of one of the games? I don't know what any of them are. Like, you could be telling me there's a guy in it called Phoenix Wright. I think there is, isn't there? Isn't there a dude in the games called Phoenix Wright? Or am I being a donkey? Alright, that one's open. Cool. The only game I generally hate is fucking YouTuber's Life. It just sucks so hard. YouTuber's Life? That sounds like a really irrelevant game anyway. Do you need to delete a game that's irrelevant? Delete Fortnite's just so annoying and cringe. Damn. Fortnite cringe, guys. Fortnite cringe. Fortnite cringe. I own Last of Us 2. Really? Uh, and never take another box, does that count? Is The Last of Us 2 as bad as people made out? Because I just kind of was like thinking it sounded shit from everyone else moaning about it. But now I've actually looked into the game. It doesn't sound like it's that bad. I guess a lot of it boils down to whether or not you like... I mean, can I, I can spoil it at this point, right? 
I was going to say, like, I, I feel like a lot of it boils down to how you think Joel's death is handled. And I never played the first game, so I don't really know how I'd feel about it. I don't know. A weird one. Trials and Tribulations also on Steam the first and ends the first trilogy. Okay. Enter the Overwatch to save myself from crippling addiction to the game. Hey, that doesn't count. That means you've had fun with it, David. And you want games you can have fun with, you know? I wouldn't delete a game for that reason, no. No, why would you do that? You say focus on the turret, Bane, but you want me to secure all the shells as well. So stop being a bitch. Definitely hate it less than I did when it came out, but it still, I still despise the story. Really? Fair enough. Fair enough. Can't fault it. I don't even know how many pages I've answered, chat. I think I might have done three. But I don't know for sure. Which is not very helpful, I'll be honest with you. Okay, have you hated I'm literally sat here trying to think about it, cheese. I don't actually know. There are games I don't like, but I don't know whether there's any I, I dislike that much I delete from existence, you know? I can legit sat here trying to think, and I can't think of one. Hmm. I'm just addicted. At the end of the day, David, if you have fun, that's what matters, you know? Just have fun with what you do. If you like playing Overwatch, that's cool, you know? Just vibe, bro. Just vibe. Vibe, relax, enjoy gaming, be a gamer. Life is normal, false colours. Never heard of it. I've heard of a game that sounds very similar to it in name that is what my favourite game of all time probably now and is a fucking masterpiece that I cannot wait to stream very soon. But uh, beyond that, no, I don't know. It was this one, right? Yes, there we go. There's a great Ace Attorney 19th Century spin-off that's on Steam. Okay, just whichever one the best game is, is the one I want to try out. Whatever, Whichever one you say is the best one to start with, or the best game overall, that's the one I want to play. Wait for Troy to hear more Yakuza tracks that aren't Pledge of Demon. I mean, Pledge of Demon does kind of slap, though. Pledge of Demon is kind of a fucking tune, let's be honest. Great Ace Attorney. Okay. God, stay alert. I will keep it in mind. There are way more tunes. Noted. Noted, noted, noted. I would say Assassin's Creed Valhalla so the Watch Dogs 3 didn't come out as a mess. Let's be honest. Watch Dogs games are a mess just on their own. I wouldn't blame other games for that. That's just Watch Dogs. Let's be real here. I feel like Watch Dogs 2 is probably like the most well-regarded one, isn't it? Or is it? I don't actually know. I've only ever played a smidge of one. What I always read up of two, like, in the lead up to its launch made it sound really good. But I don't know whether it was actually really good or not. But three was fu a fucking mess. I've never seen a game I could care less about. Like, I, I just... There are probably people who like watch... Oh, yeah, David in there. Yeah, I'm sorry. Like, I don't want to be rude to people who like it, obviously. But, like, to me, when they advertised Watch Dogs 3, I was like, maybe it's the time I get into these games. And I was like, no. It's just... Ugh. You don't play as any specific character, you just control random people, so you don't really build up a connection to a character. And you can expect someone like me to say this, someone who loves story-driven games. If you're not attached to a character, I'm not as into it, you know? Games like Payday 2 are kind of like an alternate exception because there's loads of different characters that are interesting. You're not necessarily like one specific main character. But like, I just like getting attached to cool characters and, and seeing them grow and evolve and play in us and through missions, you know? Even if they don't even have a voice, just someone that you can link to. Whereas Watch Dogs 3 is like, you can play as Old Woman. It's like, cool, but isn't that going to get boring after like an hour? And from everything I've seen in reviews, etc., it very much did get boring after an hour. Which is, you know, sad. But it's a 12-hour Oblivion review. Sheesh. 12 hours for a review. Really? Fucking hell. I feel like he beat the game quicker than that, no? There we go. If I fail this now, by the way, then that's just me giving up with Train Heist. But we're actually doing okay. I'm just not really drawing much attention to it because I don't want to jinx it. But 
I don't know how many pages I have left. This is the problem. God. Like, it would really help me to actually know how many pages there are left. Why are you playing this? Someone suggested in the chat and I just went, fuck it, why not? Keep playing Yakuza so we can watch seven and a half hour Yakuza 5 review. Seven and a half hours. I don't get how these reviews work that are so fucking long, bro. Like, I, I could try my best to write a really long review of Life is Strange or Life is Strange True Colors or anything like that. I couldn't pull that long of a review out of it. I just couldn't. Train Heist 101. Oh, God. No. Yakuza 5 is like 60 hours long. What the story is? You're taking the piss. No way. How long was Yakuza 0? Twenty chapters. So it's not much longer than zero. Watch out. God. God. Stay alert. Don't bloody alert the guard. God. I actually kinda wanna get all the bags from the train and bring them all the way up to this end of the zip zip line. So I don't have to carry them all through that fucking herd of bloody guards down there. But I don't know how comfortable I am with that. You know what I mean? Oh, you bitch. Get out of the way. Also, I still really want to do a music stream. I know I like that seems like that just kind of dip, fucked off into the ether, that idea, but it really didn't. I do want to do a music stream. But I need to learn the ukulele better. My goal, and I said this in the Discord, is I want to actually do a cover of Creep. The MXM Tune version. So I'll put that on YouTube. Um, oh, this could be it. This could be where I choke. So, I might upload that cover first and then try and learn some more songs and go from there. If he doesn't turn around, I can save this. If he turns around, I'm fucked. Wait, what? I had the page of spare. Oh my fuck, I had a page of spare. It might not be dead. It could be, but it might not be dead. God, I'm nervous now. If I actually pull this back, I swear to God. That's got to be my last pager though, right? We've definitely killed four guards now. We can't not have done it. We've got no body bags left, so it has to be. Did I actually just pull this back? I actually just pulled this back. Fam. Fam. I pulled it back. You're taking the piss. How? How? Now, if I fail, I'm going to be really upset. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to be really fucking upset. I will take the shit and not the piss. Understandable. Have a nice day. I can't believe I actually managed to pull this bit off. And the best part is there should only be about one guard in this area now. Because I clobbered like two of them in this vicinity. Which is good. I wish I could secure the ammo bags right now. That will make my life a hell of a lot easier. But no. Payday 2 annoying game design. And it's like, no, you got to secure the parts first to the turret. If you don't secure the turret parts, amigos, then you're going to have the trouble, you know? Don't know what that means. And you want to try out 5. What, have you not played 5, cheese? Wait, what? Are you a Yakuza fan who hasn't played all the Yakuza games? Because the amount you talk about it, I thought you played every game. If she's actually hasn't played one of the Yakuza games, I'm going to be fucking stunned. I'm going to be so stunned. Also, by the way, um, I kind of want to take a risk chat with Life is Strange True Colors. Because what worries me, right, is you can mute copyrighted music, but... I kind of think that ruins the game in some ways, not having the copyrighted music on. So I kind of want to have... I kind of want to play True Colors, maybe turn down the music volume and just have the songs on. Because the game feels a bit more lifeless without it. I think the licensed music is part of Life is Strange's identity, at least to me. Um, 
Because I, I, I'm pretty sure, and someone can always correct this on me, but I'm pretty sure that, like, it doesn't replace the music with, like, unlicensed stuff. Like, it literally just mutes it, and that's it. And I don't know about you, but it's, if I'm just hearing silence and looking out into a town, that's going to be, like, awkward as fuck. Watch out. God. I nearly just failed that. That was almost it. That was almost it. That was almost it. He's the only guard left in this vicinity, so I've got to be fucking chill. I have to delete the vote on Twitch if you do that. Well, I'm going to do that anyway if I need to. I saw a clip of tw on Twitter of Alex rocking out with no music and the footstep sounds are still... Oh, no, 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 Fuck it, I'm not muting the music. I th we are not about to watch that fucking chaotic Elvis clip of him dancing on stage with just the fucking realistic shoe sounds. I don't need to hear that. I would kill to see that first segment with Alex and Gabe in full silence. No, no, no. Or just, you know, the bit where Alex puts her headphones on in, in that one scene later in the game, Elian, you know which one I'm on about. Imagine that, but the music just doesn't play. <laughs> that would be so awkward. That would be so awkward. Yeah, I would say just look up the clip on Twitter. Where'd the bag go? What the fuck? Look up the clip on Twitter, Elian. I'm not playing. I'm not playing without the copyrighted music. That's not happening. That is not happening. I should be working on sociology homework, but instead I'm browsing to free games to this free games to stage page. Fair enough. Make sure tomorrow you 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 uh you uh browse the Red Archer Live Twitch channel for Life is Strange True Colors. I'll look up Life is Strange and see for myself. Oh my god, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't don't do it, Elian. Don't do it. But yes, that's my point. Like, I know I'm gonna be doing a walkthrough on YouTube, and that's the only problem that annoys me. Like, I'm not even sure, Jamie, if it's worth uploading the, the episodes to YouTube because that review did so fucking horribly, which really makes me sad. Still still really makes me sad, to be honest. It hasn't even got 200 views yet. But, like, I do want to upload the parts to YouTube just so I can say I've got a playthrough of every game on there in the Life is Strange playlist in case they ever, you know... Because sometimes you upload a video and it does well afterwards, you know? But I also just want it on there because I love Life is Strange. And I don't want muted playthroughs on there, but also I worry about YouTube's copyright policies flagging episodes up. So what I might have to do is upload the playthrough and just have a warning at the start to say I refuse to mute the copyrighted music. Um, it will probably take my monetization off, but I don't care. But if it blocks the video, I'll have to mute that section of the video with that song in. That'll be what I have to do. So if you hit, like, if there's any muted bits, that'll be why. Your interview is the fifth video that comes up if you search up David Bateson on YouTube. That's fucking sick. What? I hope everyone enjoyed that interview, by the way. If you've watched the David Bateson interview, let me know what you think of it. David was just such a funny guy to talk to. I mean, you probably tell from the intro with him talking about getting his cock out. That was it. He was making a joke for context, but it was very funny. I don't think a lot of people care about Life is Strange on YouTube, unfortunately. The problem is, pay, like, the payday audience, right? The payday audience are very loyal, which is both a good and a bad thing. It's good because most of the payday content you upload, they'll watch. It's bad. Because they're very loyal to Payday and anything else they don't really care about. You know what I mean? I love that David Bateson cock out clip. It's so funny, isn't it? It's so funny. It's like walking around the street with my cock out. I was like, I was like, oh, that's the tone of the interview we're going for. Right, gotcha. As soon as he said that, I was like, right, I know what to expect now. It's okay. Well, I get it. I get it. So, here's my strat now, chat. We know where the last nine hour bags are. They're in that train car, okay? And as long as I'm stealthy, I can get right across and dodge this one guard and secure them. I have an ECM jammer. I'm going to take it and open the door from the alternate side. And that way I don't have to run around the train every time to grab a bag. There was a part where he was talking about a film and he mentioned that someone married a wasp. Wasp, wasp means white Anglo-Saxon person, not an actual wasp like you thought. Oh, shit. I don't know my terms, apparently. Fuck. <laughs> I thought he meant an actual wasp. <laughs> what? Maybe, are you sure that isn't what he meant? Because he was saying that everyone sounded like they were high. When they were writing that script. Are you sure that isn't what he meant? God, stay quiet. Alright, there we go. I just got a new computer. Cool. See, if we keep this guard marked constantly, God, stay back. then we can always dodge him and get those bags secured. Character married a white girl, so I'm pretty sure. Oh, did he? Oh, I don't know. Then maybe I got it wrong. 
What are your thoughts on the American Revolution with you coming from tea land? Careful. Um, haha, -ha, guns go burr. How's that for my thoughts? Thanks for watching. Make sure you follow and subscribe. God. I'm actually going to pull this off. Second attempt. Are we... Are we... Oh, is this really happening, chat? Is this the real life? Or is this just fantasy? Look out, God. I'm caught in a landslide, chat. There's no escape from reality. And you're not really into horror games if you consider playing Chernobylite. I have, because Ian Russell is in it, and he said he wanted me to play it. I have asked him if he was going to get any any codes, because I think he said he was going to see if he get a code for me, because I did the reel for him a while back. I think he said he was going to ask about it. If not, I'll just try and cop it at some point. But money is an issue. I'll probably watch the Red Cast and Live Strange True Colors review next weekend, because of school. That's cool. I'd, I just appreciate if anyone watched the True Colors review and the interview, to be honest, because... The interview's doing fairly well. You know, it's got like 500-ish views last I looked, which is not awful. Like, for in as, as interviews for non-payday people go, that's very good. I don't actually know if... Actually, can someone look that up for me? I don't know how easy it would be to look up the views, but if anyone can look on YouTube, what is like the, the highest views on a non-payday guest interview on the Redcast? Because actually, now I think about it, David Bateson might be one of the biggest ones already. The payday ones get up to like 2,000 or a bit more views, but the non-payday ones, I don't know what the highest one is for that. It could well be David already. And if it's not, it, it probably will end up being him. It seems like his interview is doing very well. And I do partially blame that on the way I've structured it. You know, rather than just be naming it as it's the next episode of the Redcast, I actually said an interview with David Bateson like it was a more unique thing. I think that makes it more appealing for people to click on personally. You know? That's just me. I don't know. Troy's trying to smooch off of Ian Russell. And then Troy's trying to not spend more money. My bank account is, is lacking a lot. Did you not hear me earlier when I said that I bought a denim jacket and the patches for Alex's jacket so I can make a cosplay for her? I also keep looking at Ellie, Ellie and you know her falling star tattoo on her hand? I keep looking at that and thinking, that's a cool tattoo. But do I really want a tattoo on my hand? Because you know I was really thinking about getting that Life of Strange Rewind tattoo. Now I kind of want the falling star. But I don't know whether I could commit to having a tattoo on my hand, let alone a tattoo at all. Denim jacket is very nice. Yeah, because she has a denim jacket. If you look like, you know, on the cover art, like, for reference, Steelbook. That denim jacket with the, the, the you can see a bootleg patch on there over one chest. She has three patches. I bought the patches to go with it because I'm going to make a cosplay thing. I think I'm going to go to Comic Con in Birmingham in November as Alex. Even though I've literally got cosplays for uh, Pietro in WandaVision for Star-Lord and two Doctor Who cosplays that I haven't tried yet. I actually want to go as Alex now. So, there's that. Um, but yeah. Just really clicked on a video called How Bisexuality Changed Video Games. How did it change video games? Tell us. How did bisexuality change video games? The male Alex Chan. Well, her outfit is like feels like it's very unisex, so it would work well, I think. And in two attempts, without a bet, I beat the fucking train heist. It plagued me before... And now I'm the king of it. Oh, my my lava lamp's actually fucked. Oh, God. Look at chat. Chat, look at that. Ignore the... the, the what is that? What is... What has happened to it? What is that blob in the middle that's not moving? What happened to my lava lamp? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? That's cursed. That's actually cursed. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Audiojungle.com. 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 There we go. In the year oh, alright. So, chat. The question is, do I wrap up the stream now? Or do we do another heist? What do we think? What do we think? Hang on one sec, chat. Just mention the Discord server. Someone pointed out that I have a di definition of Urban Dictionary, but it's done by GoFurks, 
who was someone who used to be in the, in the community who ended up being a bit of a dick. So I really don't want his definition of me in the, um, in the, uh, <laughs> in the Urban Dictionary to be the top results. If anyone else wants to do a definition for me on Urban Dictionary and mention that I'm addicted to Life is Strange and True Colors, please do. Would love it. Because I'd love someone else's definition to go up before his. I'll be honest with you. I would much rather. Um, the interview with number one is at 1.3k views. Next to be Crispy Pro at 620. Damn, so David Bateson's close. Shit. Shit. There you go. Um, number of one, I feel like a lot of the views there probably came from you mentioning Bank Ice 101. Big brain. But number one is just a great guy anyway. He's uploaded the, his newest Sherlock YTP like today. But I haven't seen the original episode it was from, so I'm not sure whether I should watch that first and then watch the YTP or just watch the YTP. I don't know. I'm not, honestly not too sure. So what should we do? One more heist? Do you, want, you know what, chat? Let's remake Bank Heist 101. All right, let's stealth Bank Heist. Let's 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 do a Bank Heist. Let's do a Bank Heist. I would if I knew how to. Yeah, actually, that's a good point. I don't know how to do a definition of Urban Dictionary. Mine already exists. Yeah, but it's not the top one that comes up, though, is it, Elian? So maybe you should. I don't know. Oh, can you upvote his? I don't know. Eh, shut up. I mean, there wasn't pre-planning last time, so, you know, I had to do it there to go into that. Eh, shut up. Do it both times to show both of them. There we go. Hey, everybody, what is going on? My name is Red Arch Live, and today I'm finally playing a game that I've wanted to play for a really long time. That is uh, Payday 2. It was going to be a different game today, but I, I, I was the game I was going to play, there was a 2 gigabyte update for it, and I need to download that first. I, I tell you what game it is, but you know I don't want I want to keep it as a surprise because a few of you requested me to play this game, so we'll be doing a video on it really really soon. Um, but I like this game anyway. It's a good game. I like Payday 2. Um, let's just uh, let's, we're just gonna rob this bank. I, I have the loot bag DLC with this site on. Pretend you can see the site, guys. The site on, and uh, oh, the back door's open. It's never good when the back door's open. And this is literally like you have done this to me, chat. I remember all the shit I chat from that fucking Bank Ice 101 video because I've seen it so many times because you all won't let me fucking forget it. You've done this to me, chat. All of you have done this to me. I wouldn't remember any of that if not for you lot. <laughs> nice glasses, dude. White style. I like him. Do the swaggy reload, no balls. I don't... Can I do it? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Just reload my just shotgun. <laughs> Looks so swaggy when I do that, really. It's so, so, so swaggy. Na 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 na. It's the motherfucking D-O double G. Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg. I love how the texture's so bad. You've only done this to yourself. And now there's going to be two t-shirts for merch for it. So I really am never going to let it go. Oh, by the way, in case you're wondering, chat, the t-shirt the that Zaley ordered to model for me uh, was Bank Heist 101 as a cinematic masterpiece. So you're going to see my best friend modeling a t-shirt that you all bullied me into making. That's what this community is at this point. You all asked for that design so much... And now my best friend is going to fucking model it. You've all done that. You have all done that. <laughs> Insert picture of Gabby Hanna saying, I am so proud of this community. Got to go and have fun making the remaster 101. Probably see you next stream. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow then, dude. One time I tried to put Ellie in reading it over a video and watch the first five seconds about five minutes, 15 times. I've never recovered. Can't blame you. I know I wouldn't fucking recover. God. That would give me a lot of pain. A lot of deep mental pain. I would cry if you were master what Bank Ice 101. No. Got it. I'm begging for enhanced quality. Everyone out here getting excited over the nights of the Old Republic remake when I'm here waiting for the Bank Ice 101 remake. Fuck off. Get yourself together, man. This isn't right. Okay. I forgot my dinner at home. What am I supposed to eat now? Control, you got any leftovers? Can you please make a remaster for Max Payne 1 and 2? No, I've never actually played those games. Probably should. 
Bank Ice 101 expanded and enhanced. That just means the same video, but I'm going to charge you $60 for it. Rockstar Roast. Alright, that's all the guards dealt with. I would fuck for a proper remake of Max Payne 1 and 2 done by Remedy. You would you would fuck for it? But the question is who? Boom. Alright. What about the stun gun dudes and juggernauts? Well, you know what? You have to just imagine them. Oh, you know what? I fucking love when I kill the bank tellers and nobody sees them die. That shit gives me life. I don't understand how that works logically, but I find it so fucking comical. How long is it going to take for that civvy to notice the drill and... Oh my god, the textures. Oh, those smoke textures are glorious. I love playing Payday 2 on the Nintendo GameCube. Is that civvy ever going to clock that drill? Or is he just going to be sussed by it the whole time? Can I just drill this vault open with the civvies there? I have never robbed a bank with the civvies in the front area still like... Well, with the vault there and the civvies in the front still alive. If, they, if I actually pull this off and they don't see it, that is going to be the coolest thing I've ever done in Payday 2. Robbing a bank in plain sight. There's no way. There is no way. He's actually not clocking it. These civilians are legally blind. I'm, I'm stunned. I'm genuinely stunned. I am actually genuinely stunned. I am shocked. Surprised. And, uh... Yeah. Hold on. Wait, what? Why has Ed just shared this picture in the chat of new Fortnite? That's got to be a piss take. That's not real. Oh my god, it's real. Oh my god, they're making horses as a skin. What? Why? Who asked for this? Who asked for that? Who? Who asked for this? I'm putting it in the chat right now. I'm putting it in the, in the in the stream, sorry, right now. I'm putting it in the stream right now for you all to see. This is the most cursed shit I've ever fucking seen. Why are there horse skins coming? Why is this a... Oh, God. Fix the drill. Okay. Here we go, chat. You're all gonna... Ne you're never gonna be able to unsee this. That is a new skin coming to Fortnite, apparently. Why? Why? The muscular fucking unicorns. I have... I have no words. What the fuck is this? These are apparently the newest skins coming to Fortnite, presumably tomorrow with Season 8. I, I don't... I don't... I don't know how to feel about this. This is, uh... This could be the thumbnail for the VOD, by the way. Just gonna have this here, me just like this. So there you go. I want to die now. Someone's going to nod to that and I have to live knowing that. Oh, God, Dennis. Now I have to live knowing that. Why would you say that? Oh. Oh. It's Glue Man. Glue Man is watching me. The world's shittiest superhero. The original shit character. God, even the sound was out then. Oh, the textures are so bad. It's like I'm, I'm playing a game on the Nintendo Mii store. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 Look at the textures, they're so bad. I kind of like them in a way, but they are also very bad. Do, 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 do. Do 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 Gotta be close now, right? It's the drill opening. If I actually get in here and get out with the loot without those civvies seeing me, that's gonna be the funniest shit. I'm only gonna get one bag and go, probably, because who cares for money in this heist? You don't get XP per bag. 
So I may as well just get one bag and fuck off. But like, seriously, if we leave and these civvies are alive, I'm gonna. This is gonna be so funny to me. I'm gonna check in two hours to see if they've made any Rule 34 drawings of the unicorns. If I don't see any made already, I'm gonna be disappointed. The internet wasn't fast enough. Sounds like that's not the only reason you'll be disappointed, honestly, speedrunner. We gotta wait for another drill to finish here. Can anyone see this drill? I don't think so. He might be able to see it a little bit through the door from the sounds of it, but we're good. Don't forget about those safety deposit boxes, folks. Could be good stuff in there. White Garden Civvy, square texture effects, civilians with a few extra chromosomes, the true console experience, bruh. That's a disrespectful thing with the chromosomes. I kind of wish I hadn't read out, but... But yeah, console payday 2 is what we would call different gravy. It is, it is just, it's just different gravy. It's different gravy. There you go. Oh, Elian actually has shared the uh, a video of the Life is Strange team of the vinyl with no music. I don't want to watch that. I don't need to see that. I don't need to see that. But Elian, do you now agree that I'm not going to turn off copyrighted music during the Life is Strange True Colors streams? Do, do we agree? Cool. Oh, this is Bank Heist 102. It is actually. It's so cool. I should make a t-shirt out of it. Oh, wait. Watch it, Troy. If I suffered, you do too. No. There's no law that says I have to suffer that. Nowhere in the rules does I have to live through this mental torture. It's not slaps giving. Just gonna go all over and around. Are you getting all the loot? Why? I only get the same amount of XP for beating the heist. It doesn't matter whether I secure it all or not. So I'm probably just going to take one bag and run, to be honest. Just so I can say I robbed a bank with the civvies right next to the vault, not seeing anything. There's like five civvies there. How many civvies are... Actually, actually, here's one way to find out. Six cents. Inform me of the presence of civilians in this bank. One, two, three, four, five, six, five. And then presumably two by the ATM, right? So yeah, so seven civilians, and none of them notice that I am robbing this bank. I don't, I don't understand how this works. I do not understand how this works. You know what, Cheese? I see that you've redeemed restart level, and you know what? Just for the sake of me saying that I pay, played a heist without the civvy seeing, I'm ignoring it. Not allowing it. I, 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 I refute it. I refute it. And if you insult me now with any bad language, I won't refund, refund you the points. So be nice. Troy is a fun sponge. You know what, David? I thought you'd be dead happy with the David Bates interview, and here you are being a bitch. No need for it. There you go. Cheese, have your points back. No, it is far more important for me to say that I passed a bank eye without the civilians clocking it when the vault was right next to them. Then for me to say, I nearly did it, but Cheese Puffs thought he was a dead funny fucker and thought, oh, I'll restart the level. No. David is a bitch now. No, we love David. David is cool. He likes Margot Robbie, and who doesn't like Margot Robbie? You know what I mean? Who doesn't like Margot Robbie? But uh, I think that's probably a good point to stop. So I, ladies and gents, I'm going to play some more True Colors and continue my second playthrough. And in the meantime... I'm going to sign the stream off here. So, like I said, uh, I'm going to do my stream schedule tomorrow morning. Or I might do it tonight, actually, now. I'll plan out what exactly we're going to stream. I've roughly got an idea now of what we'll do now in my head. So I'm quite happy. Uh, but look forward to this being uh, the game we play tomorrow. I hope you all turn up for it. I really do. Because I'm very excited to stream it. And if no one turns up, it's going to be very, very sad. So please consider hanging out for True Colors. Will be a good time. I promise you. Uh, but I'm going to wrap it up there. Cool. So let's put some let's put a bit of music on in the background again. Tune. And let's uh, let's wrap it up there. So thank you all very much for watching. It's been fun. Uh, actually went better than I thought watching the Fortnite live event and all that. We all hung out, we all had a good time. So we're good, you know, we had fun. And that's what matters. That's what matters. So, uh, do we want to raid anybody? Who is streaming right now that I want to raid? Hmm. Hmm, Shadrock is playing. Thief Simulator. 
His stream title is Stealing Your Hearts and TV. So we shall have a look at Shadrock's stream and hang out. So let's go watch him. Let's watch him be a, a, a thief. So thank you all for hanging out. I appreciate it. I will see you all tomorrow at 7 p.m. BST with Life is Strange True Colors. We start our stream playthrough, also recording it for, for YouTube. And remember, like I've said, you'll be able to influence the decisions in the game. So be around and your choices will actually matter. Isn't that a cool thing to say? I think it's a cool thing to say. That's just me. But that'll wrap it up. Thank you all for hanging out. Been a good time. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye-bye.